Oh, there wasn't any BGM? I thought the BGM was on. Hello! I'm not muted! This is- I- I come back! And this is what you guys- This is how you guys treat me! You just bully me! I see how it is. I see how it is! Well, then I gotta turn the BGM down. The papaya is too loud. Hello, hello! Nice to see you guys again. Thank you for giving me your energy! And now I'm, uh... Genki. Genki da ne. Now I feel much... I, I feel healthier. Not because of that. I just, uh... I needed some time to rest, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back, I'm back. I'm just back again. Oh, how many times now? We need a ame back counter. Ame back counter, uh... Number... 17. Number 17. Amelia Watson. Back from her 17th break. Ah, <laughs> Okay. Hello! It is my, uh... Is my, uh... Am I muted? I'm not muted. We're not muted. No mute. Thank you so much for the super chats. I will be doing... Uh, I'll be reading... I'll be catching up on them. Uh, well, uh, the ones from this stream anyways. I'll read them at the end of the stream. So, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And to those of you who say it's late, I will see you at the bot. I'll see you in the VOD. Hey, hey VOD. Hey chat, hey chat. Say, say hi to the YouTube comments in the future. Hi, YouTube. Uh, hi. I'm not muted. Confirmed not muted. Thank you, thank you. Alright, well, I'm back. Now that that's over with. Uh, Iris is 3D. What the hell? It was so good. It was so good. I always thought, like, as soon as... Like, the first time we saw Iris on stage, immediately, it's just like... She has incredible stage presence, doesn't she? Oh, I mean, you know, we're all performers, you know, you know, but Iris, uh, yeah, she's... Ooh. I always listen to her karaoke, so it's nice. It's nice seeing her perform on stage for her 3D showcase. She did such a good job. It was very smooth. It went very smoothly. Yeah, it was really, really good. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, today we'll be playing this game, uh, Vaudeville. Vaud Vaudeville, yeah. And, uh, apparently you can talk to the NPCs in this game. I haven't seen too much of the game myself. I've only watched, like, a few people, you know, like, like a few clips of people playing it. So, <laughs> yeah, Vaudeville. Yeah, very, very funny. <laughs> Actually, it's a pretty good one. Uh, Vaudeville, that's right. Vaudeville. Hi. Hello, hello. Alright, if you guys have any questions for me, we'll save them for the end of the stream, because now we'll be going into the... Vaudeville. Ville. Vaud vaudeville. Into the Vaudeville. Uh, let me turn off the BGM. I think there should be audio. Let's see. Oh, can you guys hear it? Is it loud enough? Skip it a bit. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, what? Accuse, quit, notebook. Notebooks. First thing we gotta pick on. I uh, go to police station and ask Chief Gretzky about the murders. Chief Gretzky, murders. Noted. Should I look at my settings really quick? Is it gonna show something sketchy? Oh, no. Ray Tracy. Good. The Lord! Ray tracing? Putting my 3080 to work. Alright, alright. So it's at police station, right? We gotta talk to the chief. Libera Civitas Vaudevillanis. Uh okay. Wait, what is this? A circus? <gasps> circus, circus! Okay, so I clicked on it. Oh we're loading. Okay, okay. Why would this need ray tracing? It's for the lighting! It makes it look really cool. Oh, okay, so there's a... Uh... Oh, speak into your microphone. Oh! Okay. Wait, hello? Chief officer? Well, what do you want? Uh... Spit it out. Who am I? I have time for all this newfangled stuff. Is this What's a tutorial? This microphone? And why are you talking about lighting? I didn't... Don't worry, it's the RTX. We have a murder case to solve, remember? Oh. Focus, Detective Martini. Martini? Focus. I'm in Martini. Wait. Amendment Martini. 
I'm sorry, but I have Oops, no okay, idea on. what you're referring to. Is that some kind of code or slang? Look, let's stick to the matter at hand. We have a serious investigation to conduct. Now, what do you have for me regarding the recent murders in Vaudeville? Uh, Chief, Chief Officer, aren't you supposed to be telling me the information that I need to know? What are, what's, a, what's happening with these murders in Vaudeville? No, oh, you want me to fill you in on the details? Yes. Fine, fine. We've had three brutal murders here in Vaudeville. Oh my Maria Jansen, God. a young woman found outside her apartment covered in blood. Oh Nicola no. Grossman, a finance man found outside Pascalis Groceries. Okay. And Haley Greenwood, a dancer found in an alley behind the club she worked at. Oof. It's a real mess, I tell you. We're still trying to piece it all together. Any leads or information you have would be helpful, Detective Martini. Are these murder cases linked somehow? Mm-hmm. Get the, good, the well, good stuff. it's hard to say for sure at this point. We're investigating all possibilities, but we can't confirm if these cases are connected. However, I have a hunch that there might be more than one murder involved. The nature of the crimes in the different locations make me suspicious. Oh. But until we gather more evidence, it's all just speculation. Do you have any insights or theories, Detective Martini? Uh, Chief Officer, are there any bagels in the office today? I'm feeling kind of hungry. I need to eat something before we get to work. Bagels. What on earth are you talking about, Detective? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. We're in the murder investigation, and you're thinking about bagels. We need fuel. Focus. We need to stay on track and find the person or persons responsible for these killings. Now, let's get to work and leave the bagels for later, shall we? Okay, Chief Officer, thank you for the information. I'll be heading out. I'm gonna check out Pascal's groceries. Passed out groceries. I it's I'm not the sure microphone. What you mean, Detective Martini. All right, I gotta you go. Mean to say you're heading to Pascal's groceries to investigate oh, further. Yes. Oh wow, it correct me. Yes, so, yes. Be sure to let me know if you find anything of interest. Okay, so Remember, should it... we're here to solve the case together. Stay okay. safe out there. Okay, if if I gather some uh, information, should I come back and uh, we should we should discuss this uh, and really get into the details here? Of course, if you gather some information, it would be beneficial to come back and discuss it. I'm always open to hearing new leads and details. We can go over everything and see how it fits into the investigation. Just remember, we need solid evidence to build a strong case. Keep me informed, detective, and let's work on solving this mystery together. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. Can you, can you wish me luck, officer? Chief officer, please? Good luck, detective. May the winds of fortune be in your favor. Now, before you go, <laughs> tell me what you oh. want to uncover at Pascal's oh, no, no. Groceries. I was supposed to be goodbye. Any particular lead or hunch? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, well, first I'll I'll question the cashier and we'll interrogate him and maybe slap him around a little and get some answers. Now, now, Detective Martini, <laughs> we don't resort to physical violence or intimidation tactics here. We conduct our investigations with professionalism <laughs> and respect for the law. Interrogating just, the cashier it's a is metaphor. a approach. He's a robot. He doesn't get it. We approach it in a lawful manner. Ask questions. Gather information but always within the boundaries of the law. We want to find the truth, not create more problems. Stay vigilant and take care out there. Okay, well, I'm going to go now. Uh, will you wish me luck? Good luck, detect. Yes. All right, all right. I get, I get it. We're going to question and uh, find out some information and hopefully... Oh, I see. I have to put in the notes myself. Oh, God. What do you guys think so far? You guys like the game? <laughs> that was rude! I already said bye like tw twice! It's awkward. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay. Alright, hold on. Let me hydrate. Alright, next uh, we're gonna go to the... What is it? Pascal's groceries. I guess we're gonna go here. This is the one that stood out in my mind immediately. It's the only one I remembered, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go here.
I'm assuming there must be like a cashier week. Clash. Oh, okay. Oh, clash oh, of clans. Oh dear. I must say, I'm feeling a bit down today. But you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, make a gin and tonic. It may be at a splash of mischief while you're at it. After all, a little bit of naughtiness can be quite invigorating, don't Yo. you think? Huh? Uh... Yes, ma'am, you are... Very fine this evening. Uh, not, not, naughty and stuff. Anyways, I'm a police officer and I'm here to uh, question some uh, suspicious happenings in the area. Have you heard of the murder? Oh, murder, you say. How dreadfully intriguing. Although I must admit, I haven't heard much about it. I prefer to Lies. focus on more pleasant things, like picking mushrooms or planning my next extravagant trip. But do tell this me, lady? Does detective, here? what have you discovered so far? Uh, Any yeah. juicy details to spice up this gloomy day? Um, that is, uh, private information. I can't really share that with you, but, uh, who, who, who are you, ma'am? Uh, what are you doing here today? Well, my Mushroom dear, picking? I what? I'm simply here enjoying <laughs> the sights and sounds of vaudeville. And may I, I, I oh, always she's a manage tourist. to find a bit of excitement wherever I go. Life is too short to be dull. Don't you agree? Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe there's a delightful display of imported cheeses calling my name. Ta-ta. Okay, -ta. bye lady. Useless. Oh, my apologies if I've disappointed you, but I do hope you find <laughs> some amusement elsewhere. Perhaps you could investigate the local art scene or indulge in a thrilling mystery novel. As for me, I shall continue my quest for adventure and mischief. Cheerio. Uh, okay, I'll be back. I need more information first. Goodbye. I, I need, what am I supposed to ask him? I guess, oh, pause. <laughs> cheerio, cheerio. Uh, okay. Actually, I want to solve the cases, you know, but, uh, I need to find out more about this murder that happened. Maybe I should question the, uh, like we, we made a good first impression, I think, right? Right? We made a good first impression, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Uh, Chief Gretzky, uh, could you give me some more information on the murder that happened over at uh, Pascal's Groceries, please? Please! Yeah, Pascal's Groceries, huh? Terrible business, that. Well, let me see. Nicola Grossman, a finance man, found dead outside the shop in the morning. Covered in blood, they say. Gruesome sight, I tell ya. Poor soul. Anything specific you wanna know? Guys, what's up? <laughs> we should ask, uh, we, 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 we should ask, uh, okay, go. Nicola Grossman, dead in the morning. What did they do uh, for work, maybe? What, 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 what was their job? Oh, the murder weapon. Let's ask about the murder weapon. Uh, was the murder weapon found on the scene? Well, now that's an interesting question, Detective Martini. You see, Damn, we're Detective still working Martini. on the details of the case. Uh, okay. The forensics team is analyzing the evidence, but we haven't determined the exact murder weapon yet. Okay. It's quite peculiar, really. There seems to be a pattern emerging from these recent murders a in pattern. Bonneville. I can't help but wonder if there might be more than one murder involved. Quite troubling, isn't it? Yes, very scary. Uh, do you have any tips for how to keep safe in these trying times, Chief? Tips to keep safe, you say? Well, I suppose the usual precautions apply. Stay vigilant, be aware of your surroundings, and avoid walking alone at night. But honestly, you with these the... killings happening, it's hard I to say not. what will truly keep you safe. It's a grim reality we're facing Spooky. here in Vaudeville. Do you have any ideas or suggestions yourself, Detective? Uh, what was the cause I'm of death? Hearing them. Uh, Chief, what was the cause of death? Was the cause of death determined yet? Maybe stab Cause wound. of death. Yeah, now that's a tricky one. You see, we're still waiting for the coroner's report to come in. Okay, maybe but we should I go to the morgue then. That all three victims you guys have any questions for attacks. the chief? 
before we go? It's quite disturbing, really. If you want more specific details, I suggest you speak with the coroner directly. Okay. He'll have all the gory details for you, I'm sure. Anything else you'd like to know, Detective Martini? Uh, Chief Gretzky, are you single right now? No, now, Detective. <laughs> no. I'm a happily married man. Oh. <laughs> My wife, Livia, and I have been together for decades. Alright, is that what you want to know, ask? chat? Is there a particular reason you're interested in my marital status? My chat, uh, they're watching the stream right now. Actually, they were interested in you romantically, but it doesn't seem like you're available at the moment, so don't mind them. Romantically interested in me. Streaming. <laughs> I must admit, I'm not quite familiar with the streaming business. You say people are watching and expressing interest. How peculiar. But as I mentioned, I am not available for any romantic pursuits. Damn, you guys missed out. I'm a dedicated police chief, yeah, fully he's committed dedicated to my duty and my family. To his duty. Though it is quite fascinating how technology has changed the way people interact these days. Tell me, Detective Martini, what is this streaming all about? Well, you know, I'm a detective, so I'm just streaming my cases, and this one in particular, it's kind of a new program um, that we're doing right now in vaudeville. Um, I did have a question for you, Chief. Uh, shoot, I think I forgot. Oh, uh, are you, what, uh, what, what, kind of underwear you wear, <laughs> what? What am I? What? Well, I'm not sure I understand <laughs> okay. your question, Detective. Could you please clarify what exactly you're I couldn't asking? say it. No, I had a, I had a real question for him, but I forgot. Um, and then my brain went to something else. Oh, what was my question? Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. Now that everybody is watching the uh, stream, Chief Gretzky, do you have anything that you want to say to the world right now, live on uh, YouTube.com? The world live on YouTube. My my, that's quite a thought. But I must confess, I'm not much of a showman. He's shy. He's shy. A quiet life here in vaudeville, solving crimes mm. and keeping the peace. I've never been one for the spotlight or these newfangled forms of entertainment. Oh. Speaking of which, have you made any progress on the case, Detective <laughs> Martini? Uh, yes, I'm That's gonna go. Where my focus lies, <laughs> after all. I'm on my way now to the morgue to question the coroner. Thank you for your concern, officer. I know how to do my job. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll be heading out now. Goodbye. No, heading to the morgue. Are you? Very well, Detective. Do let me know if you find anything of interest. Okay. Um, let's see. I think I saw it on here. This is where the corner would be, right? Yeah, at the morgue. Okay. We tried, we tried. Hello? Ah, greetings. Another day, another encounter with the enigmatic dance of life and death. It's fascinating how our paths intertwine, constantly reminding us of the fragility of existence. The delicate balance between vitality and mortality. The human body, a complex tapestry of interconnected systems, can succumb to the most unexpected afflictions. Huh. It's a reminder that life's symphony is both beautiful and unpredictable. All right, all right. Thank you for the monologue. Um, I'm here on business. Uh, I'm here with the... Uh with uh, with with the, with the, my license, my operating license, appeared to question you about a body that came in, uh, Nicola Grossman, I believe. Yes, Nicola Grossman, yes. a name yes. that echoes with the weight of a departed yes. soul. His journey has brought him to my table, where I meticulously dissected the remnants of his mortal coil. Ugh. The cause of his demise was a single, precise thrust to the back of his neck with thrust? a knife. Knife. Okay. Severing vital connections and ushering him into the realm beyond. A tragedy indeed, one that demands answers and justice. But fear not, dear detective, for I have meticulously cataloged every detail of his demise. Yes, I remember the yes. case of Mr. Nicola yes. Grossman quite vividly. A man of influence in the finance world, his untimely end sent tremors through the city. The cause of his departure was a stab to the back of the neck with a butcher's knife. All right, all right. A method that suggests a personal and intimate act. Oh. An intriguing puzzle indeed. One that I've thoroughly examined and analyzed. I don't believe you. She's saying it Please too much. Do Can't ask be true. Me anything you wish to know about the case, and I shall provide you with the fruits of my investigation. Uh, were there any of the other markings on the body present? So yeah, the many words. The body, like the brushstrokes of a macabre painting. 
beyond the fatal wound, there were no other significant external injuries. However, upon further examination, I did discover something rather yeah. intriguing. There were faint traces of bruising around the wrists, indicative of a struggle. Ooh. Okay. Perhaps an attempt to defend oneself from an assailant. It's a poignant reminder of the human instinct for self-preservation, even in the face of impending doom. Right. Uh, listen, uh, my chat's watching the stream right now and they want to know if you're single. Just to shut them up, maybe, if you can answer that question, please. Thank you. Love, like the enigmatic rhythms of the heart, is a fascinating dance. As a coroner, my world revolves around the intricate workings of the physical form. The intricate networks of veins and arteries, the delicate balance of hormones and neurotransmitters. But when it comes to matters of the heart, I must admit that I've had my fair share of ponderings. Oh, Love, I think she's considering it. can be a complex and unpredictable this journey. This sounds good for you guys. Alas, my dear detective, <laughs> oh. let us focus on the task at hand, the unraveling of the mysteries that lie before us. All right, well, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for the information. But before I go, have you heard of the detective, uh, Amelia Watson? Detective Amelia Watson, you say. I'm afraid my knowledge is confined to the realm of Oddville and its yeah. inhabitants. I find solace in the intricacies Man. of the human body, the silent storyteller of our existence. While I may not be familiar with Detective Watson, I can appreciate the dedication and tenacity required for such a profession. The pursuit of How truth, do you say her name? Like Exteberia? Is a noble endeavor. Well, miss, I'd like to take you out. Do you have a favorite restaurant here in Bodville? Something you recommend? Oh, the delicate dance of romance, weaving its way into <laughs> unexpected corners of conversation. As much as I would relish the opportunity to partake in the culinary delights of this fair city with someone. My dear, it is with regret that I must decline no. your invitation. My time is best spent within the sterile halls of the morgue, where I can unravel the secrets of the deceased and bring closure to those left behind. But fret not, for there are plenty of establishments in Vaudeville that cater to the discerning palate. Okay, bye. See you. Alright. Um, we got some more things to ask. All right, let's try again over here at the groceries. We have some more information. Maybe we can find out, uh, you know, where exactly Nicola Grossman worked, where they lived, people we could question. Uh, let's go here first before we go anywhere else. Uh, hello, Chief. Nice to see you again. Hey, glad to meet you too, Detective Martini. I am looking what into you here today. Is there something new on the oh case? My God, shut up. I'm looking into the case uh, concerning Nicola Grossman, and I'd like to know perhaps uh, where Nicola lived and uh, who. who uh, where did they work? Yes. Okay, I'm good. I'm Nicola good. Grossman, you say? Well, he was quite a prominent figure in the finance world. As for where he lived and worked, let me check the files. Businessman. Uh, yes. in a luxurious penthouse apartment. Oh, penthouse. Yes, for his workplace. Penthouse. He was a partner at a prestigious investment firm called Goldstone and Company. Anything Goldstone else you need to know and about What do you guys think? Anything else that I'm missing here that we should ask before going back to the grocery store? Yeah, he's rich. A finance man. Maybe one of those stockbrokers or something. Penthouse. Witnesses. Ooh, good question. Okay, okay. Wife? Any wife? Family? Okay. Uh, any close family? Question close mark. family, you say. Let me see. According to the records, it seems that Mr. Grossman was married, but unfortunately... No. His wife passed no. away a few years ago. Rip. They didn't have any children. Is there okay. a particular reason you're interested in his family? Just looking for possible witnesses. Speaking of which, were there any witnesses um, at the time of the crime? Time of the crime. Witnesses, huh? Oops. <laughs> well, <let laughs> Tommy me the think. Clown. What? I don't recall anything about witnesses. I hope they didn't pick that up. For the case of Mr. No witnesses. But I can check the reports to be sure. Give me a moment, Detective Martini. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> the Clown. Who's that? 
I don't remember hearing about any clown in relation to the crime. But there is a Are circus in town. A witness named Tommy who is a clown. That's quite peculiar. Are you sure about this, detective? Forget everything you know. Now hold on just a minute, Detective Martini. All right, I think we're what good on mean? questions. Forget everything. Are you <laughs> suggesting that I shouldn't pursue the case okay. without the info? <laughs> Let's go to the grocery store. Oh, f funny bumping into you here, Miss Potter. Oh, what a delightful surprise. It seems even fate cannot keep us apart. How fortunate for you to have the pleasure of my company once again. Uh, um, uh... <laughs> uh, by any chance, are you seeing anyone romantically? Well, my dear, a lady of my stature is always in high demand. But alas, I must confess that my heart remains unclaimed at the moment. Ooh. However, I do enjoy the occasional flirtation and the thrill of being courted. Life is far too short not to she enjoy likes a it. little romance. Hey, when, when is there going to be a game that... Oh. When is there going to be a game that's like this, where, you know, you get to you, you try to convince the AI to, like, date you or something? I'm sure somebody's working on it, right? Uh, yes, yes, I agree. Uh, by any chance, have you heard of Nicola Grossman? Are you familiar with that name? Nicola Grossman. I'm afraid that name does not ring a bell, my dear. Sus. My world vicious. revolves around vaudeville and its esteemed inhabitants. Anything beyond that is simply of no interest to Wait, me. Wait, so is this lady now, just some random lady at the store? Debating topics, shall we? What are you doing here? I'm here, my dear, because this is where I choose to be. Oh, suspicious. Me, I have the luxury of spending my time wherever and whenever I please. And why should I not grace this fine establishment with my presence? After all, Pascal's grocery up. shop offers the finest selection of delicacies in all of vaudeville. It is the perfect place for someone of my refined tastes. Well, you're just so beautiful. I thought maybe you were familiar with the um, finance business world as a e intelligent girl boss. Finance business and intelligent robot. My, my, what peculiar subjects to bring up in such esteemed company. But let me assure you, my interests lie elsewhere. Beauty and charm are my assets, not knowledge of such complex matters. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to my shopping. Ta-ta. No, you can't say goodbye. You have to stay here and talk with me. Oh, my dear, it seems you're quite insistent on my presence. <laughs> Can they even leave? <laughs> Very well. If you insist, I shall grace you with a few more moments of my time. But do be warned, my patience wears thin quickly. So, let us continue our little tea to tea shall we? Or what? What are you gonna do, huh? You gonna beat me up? My, my, such aggression. It's rather unbecoming, don't you think? But let me assure no. you, my darling, physical altercations are not my style. No, no, I prefer to use my wit and charm to leave a lasting impression. After all, a sharp tongue can be far more cutting than any physical blow. Now, yes, let's that's try to true. keep this conversation civil, hmm? Ah, woof, 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 woof. Ah, blah, 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 blah. would pick up my mic. I thought I would put it into words and then I would say something. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think it's good to maybe check out the other places too. Oh my god. Hello? Hello there. Is there something on your mind? You seem a bit startled. Uh, I've just never seen someone as beautiful as you, miss. Oh, why, thank you. That's quite a flattering compliment. But let's not get too distracted from our conversation. We were just talking about Maria, remember? No, I don't Do remember. Do any questions about her? Uh, I'm not ready for this case yet. <laughs> Am I lagging, by the way? I, th I feel like I'm lagging. Is it the RTX? RTX off? Um, I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> What does IKEA have to do with anything you were discussing? Turn off RTX. How, how do I get clarify? to the settings? 
Mm. Hello. Wait, hold on. Ray tracing off. Wait, how do I turn it up? There it goes. Alright, let's try again. This is kind of difficult. Where should, what is corral? Coral? Corral? Cab cabane violet. Wait, let's see what this is. Much better. Okay. Oh yeah, I think the lighting was too strong. Hello. Good evening. Lady. Pretty lady. Nice. I like your necklace. Good evening. Oh, it's so lovely to see a new face in our little vaudeville. Are you here for the show? Or perhaps you're a fan of burlesque? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like my necklace. It's a vintage piece that I adore. Do you have a fondness for jewelry as well? No, I don't. Thank you for asking. Um, are you familiar with the name Nicola Grossman by any chance? Nicola Grossman. Um, I'm afraid I don't know anyone by that name. Is she a performer or someone from outside of Vaudeville? You know, my world revolves around the stage, so I might not be familiar with people beyond it. But do tell me more about her. No, 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 I'll be back. Nobody knows about this particular case that I've chosen. I thought maybe I could question, but maybe I should move on to the next person. I was thinking that, uh, like, a country club, like, a businessman would, uh, you know, go to a country club, right? It's a Morse code light, is it really? Well, look around, yeah. <laughs> Check out the circus. Let's see what the circus is. Uh, hello, strange man. Or person, hello. Person. Okay. Indeed. Oh, you got elephants here? Elephants. Ah, child's play. Um, well, listen, uh, have you ever heard of the name Nicola Grossman? No. Are you lying to me? Of course not. Do you know who I am? I don't care. <laughs> uh, let's say hypothetically, there were thousands of viewers watching you right now. Do you have a message that you'd like to give to them? Watch and be amazed. What are you doing? Tending to my lions. What kind of accent do you have? French. It's fucking lying. That's a lie. It's not a French accent. It's a French accent. What do you know? What do you know? More than you can comprehend. Tell me about Nicola Grossman. I don't know anything about Nicola Grossman. All right, I'll come back. Um, <laughs> we didn't get anything from that. <laughs> all right, uh, oh. all right. So we have like a cabaret place, a circus, a country club. Let's see what this is. Maybe it's like a restaurant. What is this place? Oh, Detective Martini. This place is Coral, one of my favorite bars in Vaudeville. Oh, a bar. It's okay. absolutely enchanting, don't you think? The entire place is decorated with undersea Where? things. Where? Like coral reefs and colorful fish. It's such a vibrant and lively atmosphere. Where is it then? for musicians and dancers like us. Uh -huh. I love coming here to unwind and meet new people. It's like a little slice of paradise in the heart of the city. Have you been here before? Uh, meet new people, you say? Well, uh, good thing that... I'm here, as we've never met before. Speaking of people, have you, uh, met anyone by the name of Nicola Grossman? Nicola Grossman. Um, 
I don't think I've had the pleasure of meeting them. Am I saying the name I'm right? I'm always excited to make new friends. So if you think there's someone I should know... You can look around. Oh, what the I'd hell? I'd love to hear more about them. There's no fish tanks what in here. What can you tell me about Nicola? Are they a dancer or a musician like us? Uh, Nicola was a businessman found dead this morning outside of Pascal's groceries. Would you happen to know anything about that? Oh, my goodness. That's terrible news about Mr. Grossman. But We're no, just asking I'm random sorry. people. I don't have any information about that. All right, my we need to find a Nicole connection. Pascal. It's actually Ingrid. I'm a ballerina, and I've been focusing on my dancing and trying to make a name for myself in vaudeville. But if there's anything I can do to help with the investigation, please let me know. It's just so tragic that these things are happening in our beloved city. Uh, yes, yes, it's quite, quite tragic. Um, miss, uh, well, what kind of, what kind of service do you have here, huh? What kind, well, I mean, uh, what, what are you, what are you selling here today? Alcohol? I can't do conversations with people! Okay, let's do... I don't know, I don't have enough information. I think I might switch. Wait, what's this? Whoa, what is that? Yeah, I see your eyes have caught something intriguing. That, my dear friend, is a ceremonial mass from the tribes of Papua New Guinea. It what? is said to possess mystical powers and was used in their traditional rituals. Fascinating, isn't it? Yes, very cool. Uh, now where exactly am I? What is this? Oh, my apologies for not clarifying earlier. You find yourself in the grand living room of my humble abode, the magnificent <laughs> I just walked Manor. into his house? This is where I house my vast collection of rare artifacts and curiosities from all corners There's of the world. There's nothing here. It's a haven for the curious and the adventurous. Ugh. So, my friend, what brings you here today? Maybe he's talking about that. Are you here to marvel at the wonders of the world? Uh, I was just passing by, uh, and coincidentally walked into your living room, and I just wanted to know if you have heard of Nicola Grossman? Nicola Grossman, you say? Uh, it does look um, like The name does not ring a bell in my extensive memory. Pray tell, who is this Nicola Grossman, and what might their connection be to the intriguing happenings of vaudeville? To well, enlighten me, dear friend. You seem like a villain, so I don't know if I want to give you any information right now, but uh, it does have to do with a murder case, is all I can say. A villain, my good detective. I assure you, I may possess a taste for the eccentric, but I am certainly no villain. However, it's exactly I what a villain would say. And respect your decision to withhold information. But do indulge me, if I may ask, what piques your interest in this murder case? Is there something particularly fascinating about it? What are those? My dear friend, I am delighted by your curiosity. Those, my dear friend, are an assortment of horns and antlers collected during my travels to Africa oh, and Eastern there. Europe. Each okay. one tells Wait, a unique story of adventure and discovery. Would you like to hear the tale behind any specific piece? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. I I'll be back, okay? Leave the window open for me. Of course, my friend. Feel free to return whenever you desire. The window shall remain open, huh. eagerly awaiting your return. Until then, may your adventures be filled with intrigue and excitement. Farewell for now. Goodbye. Alright, wait, what is this? Blacklets. I will come back. Uh. Oh my god, are you okay? Ah, uh, my dear friend. Worry not for me. I am but a humble guardian of the Blackwoods, surrounded by the whispers of nature and the gentle caress of the wind. My well-being is intertwined with the eye. harmony of this forest, and it fills my heart with peace. But tell me, what brings you to this enchanted realm today? Is there something troubling your mind? Uh, can you read my fortune, please? Fortunes, my friend, da -da. are like the leaves that dance upon the breeze. They flutter and twirl, carrying with them the secrets of the universe. She's a witch, Alas, right? My sight is not as clear as the crystal waters of the stream that flows through this sacred land. I am but a vessel of wisdom, here to guide and share my knowledge. So, let us embark on a journey of discovery together. Tell me, what is it that troubles your soul? Perhaps I may offer you a glimpse of clarity amidst the shadows. 
Have you been to Pascal's Groceries before, ma'am, over in Vaudeville? Pascal Groceries, you say? Yeah, the bustling streets of Vaudeville, where the city's heartbeat echoes in the footsteps of its inhabitants. But my dear friend, I must confess, the world beyond the Blackwoods is a realm unknown to me. My feet, accustomed to the soft earth and mossy paths, do not tread the cobblestone streets of Vaudeville. Instead, I find solace in the whispers of the trees and the songs of the birds. Uh, so like, what are you? Like a witch or a fairy or like an alien or something? Oh, my curious friend, you weave words as intricately as a spider spins its web. <laughs> witch, fairy, <laughs> alien. Such labels do not define me, for I am but a humble guardian of the black woods. Okay. I'm a vessel of ancient wisdom, a whisper in the wind, and a listener to the secrets of nature. Like the river that flows in the grass that sways, I am a part of this enchanted tapestry. But tell me, what is it that sparks your curiosity about my humble existence? Well, uh, I think you might need to go to the doctor soon or get it. When was the last time you had a checkup? Haha, -ha, my dear friend, you speak of doctors and checkups as if they were creatures from a distant realm. But fear not, for I am in tune with the rhythms of the forest and the whispers of the creatures that dwell within. The trees are my healers, the birds my nurses, and the gentle touch of the earth beneath my feet That's rejuvenates nice. my spirit. Okay, I, I have see. no need for the sterile walls of the doctor's office. Me too. The wild embrace of the Blackwoods is my sanctuary, where I find solace and serenity. But enough about me. Uh, okay, bye. See you later. Okay, I guess. We'll see her later. Alright, well, I didn't get much from this one at the moment, so I'm gonna move on to the next murder. Hey, Chief, I'm back. Rough night. Well, what happened last night? Did we have another incident in Vaudeville? Uh, listen, Chief, I got a really important question for you. Um, do you like alligators? Alligator? What does that have to do with anything? We're here to talk about the case, not my culinary preferences. It's gonna eat you guys. Now, what's this important question you have for me? Yes, uh... Get it out already. What were the murders again, if you could go over them briefly? Please. We've had three murders recently in Vaudeville. Okay. The victims were Maria Jansen, Nicola Grossman, and Haley Greenwood. Maria was found outside her apartment. Nicola's body was discovered outside Pascalis Grocery's shop. And Haley was found in an alley behind the club where she worked. Why do you ask? Do you have any leads on the case? Hold on, hold on. I gotta make some notes. He does sound sleepy. Chief, are you getting enough sleep? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me write this down. Okay. Maria Jansen. Uh, Nicola Grossman. I already have that one. Haley Greenwood. Okay. Maybe I should start a new thing for each person. Let's do this. Maria Jansen. Uh, found outside of her apartment. Outside of her apartment. Where was that where people were like, Oh yeah, we know Maria. Were you here to talk about Maria? I think it was the country club. So let's do connection with the country club. Alright, and then we'll do... Uh, Haley... Greenwood. Uh, alley. Found in the alley. Behind club. I guess the cabaret place, probably. I think. Thank you so much for the oh, membership. Thank you. Uh, club where she worked. Okay. Let's ask. Can you tell me more about Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood. Oh, that's a good yeah, good yes. point. I'll ask she was where. A Nineteen-year-old dancer. Nineteen years what old. I've heard. 
It's a shame what happened to 19 her. Nineteen years. Did you find something old. related to her that could help us crack this case? Not at the moment, but uh, do you know if any of the victims frequented any hot spots in vaudeville that I could visit and question people? Question mark? Question mark? I do. The answer. <laughs> question mark? Question mark? <laughs> Hot spots in vaudeville, you say. Well, there are a few places where the victims might have frequented. The club Melange is a popular spot for dancers like Haley. I wasn't even the name it's of the place, near was it? The theater district. They're just then making shit the up. Cafe Clat, a favorite among artists Clat. and writers. And let's not forget about the vaudeville park, where people often gather He's for outdoor activities. He's just making shit up. These places might be worth checking out if you're yeah. looking to question people. What's with the confusion? Did I miss something? Is there something specific you want to know about the hot spots in Vaudeville? Uh, can you tell me more about the crime scene concerning Haley Greenwood? Tell me, Detective Martini, why are you so interested in the crime scene of Haley Greenwood? Do you have any what? new information or leads that I should be aware of? All right, this guy doesn't know, but uh, I think we got enough information for now. Um, can I have some more information on Maria Jensen, please? No, maybe these are some important details. Maria Jensen. Jensen, whatever. She was a 23-year-old blonde with a Scandinavian look. Tragic case, really. She was found covered in blood outside her apartment in Central Vaudeville. Uh, okay. Is there something specific you want to know about Maria? Uh, does she have any, any particular close details or connections you're looking for? Did she have any close family members that we could, uh, question? Close family members of the victims. Yeah. That's a good point, Detective Martini. It's worth considering. I got a gold star. Let good me boy check point. the files and see if there's any information on family members we can reach out to. Give me a moment, please. Hurry up! Hurry up, I don't got all day, Chief! Now, now, no need to be impatient. If you've already gathered some information, then why don't you share with me? It might save us both some time. So where's the file? Where is the file? The file. I'm not sure I understand. Are you referring to something specific related to the case? Alright, I think we got all Please the information clarify. that we Detective need. Detective Martini. Alright, I'm gonna head out now. Can I have a good luck kiss, Chief? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I follow your train of thought. Could you please rephrase or provide more okay, context? I'll to rephrase your question? it. Yes, Chief. Could I please have a good night? I mean, a good, good, goodbye smooch as I continue my case. Good night, Detective Martini. Oh. But before you go, there's something that's been on my mind. Here it comes. Here it comes. You mentioned earlier about heading out for some reading. Where exactly are you planning to go? And how does it relate to the case? Just curious, that's all. I think I'm gonna Stay head over. Out I'm gonna head Goodbye. out. I'm gonna head out to the country club. Okay. Goodbye. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe brush your teeth, okay? Oh, the country club. What brings you there, detective? Is there a lead or a potential suspect you're investigating? All right, all right. Let's go back. Oh, uh, nice to see you again. Michelle. Is it weird to you? Does she, like, we've met before, right? Glad to meet you too. <laughs> Detective Martini. It's always a pleasure to see a familiar face. How have you been? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? Is there something on your mind, Detective? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mm. mean, Detective. Mm. Can you elaborate on what you're referring to? Yes, Michelle. Well, last time I was here, you happened to men mention a, a very interesting name, and I'd like to know more about uh, Maria Jansen. Maria, what do you want to know? She was a dear friend of mine, and it's friend? such a tragedy what happened to her. Okay. I've been trying to piece together what happened. Oh. Do you have any leads on her case, Detective Martini? Well, were there any witnesses uh, when the crime occurred? Maybe she Witnesses. was there. Well, I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't there when it happened, but uh, I do okay. remember hearing some well, rumors, rumors. Going around. Some people mentioned seeing a suspicious figure lurking around the area, but Sus I can't say for certain that they actually witnessed the crime. Figure. Why do you ask, detective? 
Have you found someone who might have seen something? Not yet, but I'm gonna keep this city safe, ma'am. Nothing to worry about. You would say vaudeville's in my hands now. Your cousin. What? Oh, how interesting. All right. Um. Let's go here. Talk to this lady. This lady has. Oh. Hey. Uh. Could you keep it pretty curt this time? You know. You kind of talk a lot, and uh, I'm, I'm on a time crunch here. A very, very important business to uh, get down to quickly. Got to find these, this murderer on the run. Well, Detective Martini, I understand your urgency to catch this murderer. Time is of the essence when it comes to solving oh, crimes. Oh, here we go. But you must also remember the importance of thorough investigation and analysis. Rushing through the process may lead to overlooking critical details. The murders we've encountered so far present a different modus operandi, suggesting potentially different perpetrators. However, oh. there might still be underlying connections that we haven't yet uncovered. It's essential to approach each case with a keen eye for detail and an open mind. Okay, thank you. Could you tell me more about Maria Jansen? Maria Jansen, the victim in question, was a young woman of 23 years old. She had a striking Scandinavian appearance, with her blonde hair and fair complexion. Uh, well, how was the victim murdered? Yeah, yes. Maria Jansen's case was particularly brutal. Uh oh It appears that she was attacked by an animal, what? leaving her body in a horrific state. Well, the injury suggests an a frenzied assault. A lion? It's truly unfortunate to see such violence inflicted upon a young life. We must find the answers we seek and bring justice to her and the other victims. Could you tell me about the wounds that were found on the victim's body? Oh, the wounds on poor Maria's body were quite extensive. There were numerous bite marks found all over, especially on her arms. One of her forearm bones was actually fractured due to the force of the bite. It's a testament to the strength and aggression with which she was assaulted. Such a vicious attack leaves one questioning the nature of the killer and what could drive someone to commit such acts of brutality. It's a somber reminder of the darkness that can reside within our society. Uh, do you think by any chance that the wounds could have been made by, say, uh, an animal of a feline um, descent, descent? A lion, perhaps? A lion. A lion! Oh, my dear detective, I must admit, the thought of a feline culprit does cross my mind. The pattern and severity of the bites could indeed resemble the work of a large predator. However, we <laughs> must not jump to conclusions prematurely. Mm -hmm. It is essential to consider all possibilities and gather more evidence before settling on a definitive theory. After all, the world of forensic pathology is a complex one and we must approach it with a scientific mind. Let us continue to delve into the case and see where it leads us. No, uh, now, Detective Martinez, uh, I understand your desire to find a satisfying conclusion to this investigation. Oh, come on! The idea of a lion being responsible for the attack is certainly intriguing, but we need to maintain a rational perspective. Lions are not native to this region, oh, and their shit. presence would be highly unlikely. It's important to remember that our duty as investigators My is to carefully God. analyze the available evidence and follow the path it presents. We can explore other avenues such as she human just doesn't stop or even less Shut up. conventional Shut up. ones. I was gonna ask a question, but she made me forget because she was talking so much. Oh my god. Uh, shoot, what was I gonna ask? Oh yeah. And how long has the uh, victim been dead for? What was the time of death? Approximately. Yeah, the time of death, a crucial piece of the puzzle. In Maria Jansen's case, the estimated time of death falls between the evening of April 22nd, evening around 9 p.m., okay. and the early morning of April 23rd, around 12 a.m. These are approximate times based on the condition of the body at the time of discovery. It's distressing to think about the moments leading up to her unfortunate demise and the pain she may have endured. Our task is to shed light on these dark moments and bring closure to those affected by her loss. Uh, 
Are you aware if there were any victims uh, at the scene or anything in that nature? Well, detective. Wait, what did I say? It's an intriguing. I meant to say w w witnesses, but I was reading the Maria chat. Was found. There were no All right, thank you. I meant to say witnesses. Hello, we meet again, Monsieur. Yeah, Detective Martini. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, so you have animals here or something? Of course, we have animals here. He's a circus, after all. Yeah, well, what what kind of animals you got roaming around here? Lions, my dear detective. We have magnificent lions. Well, could one of these lions, like, get loose or something? No, absolutely not. So all of your lions are currently accounted for? Indeed. Well, where were you on the evening of April 22nd, if I may ask? Nowhere near your precious April 22nd, I assure you. What? That doesn't even make sense. Well, detective, sense is overrated, don't you think? Now, what do you like to do at night? Paint. Do you like to paint outside? <coughs> no. <laughs> Have you heard of a lovely lady who goes by the name of uh, Maria Jansen? No. Are you lying to me? Yes. So you do know of Maria Jansen? No. Maria Jansen? No. Maria Jansen? No. Maria Jansen? No. Maria Jansen. No. Do you know anybody by the name of Maria? No. You lying to me? Of course, I am. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh... Wait, what is that apartment place called? Hold on, we'll be back. Uh... Wait. So wait, this is a bar, this is a club, this is- wait. Country club, a cabaret, a bar, a morgue, police station, the circus, groceries, graves and manor? I thought maybe we could question somebody at the, uh... At the apartments. Case closed! <laughs> Um... <laughs> alright, alright. Do you guys have any ideas? <laughs> the grocer has more NPCs? Oh. Really? Oh shit! Oh. Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, you won't believe the latest gossip, my friend. Please tell me. There's a rumor going around that Mr. Hastings, you know, the one who owns the bakery. Well... They say he's been secretly dating Lady Sinclair. Oh. Can you imagine? Spill the tea! Uh, that's crazy. Oh my god, wow. Thank you so much for telling me. Um, speaking of rumors, have you... Do you know anything about Nicola Grossman? My good fellow man. As I'm also a man. Oh, Nicola uh, Grossman. Dr. Such Bartini. a tragic case, my friend. It's all over the town. You see, oh, oh. they found poor Nicola's body just outside my shop a few days ago. Oh, it was outside his shop? Terrible, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This is but Pascal? You, oh, shit, it is. Flying. Some people are saying it was a jealous lover, while others think it was a business jealous rivalry gone lover? wrong. Yeah, the Rival... mysteries of Vaudeville. Rivalry, you say? Uh, what kind of business? Uh, who could be on the other end of this rivalry, do you think? Well, my dear friend, there are so many possibilities. Pascal's... You didn't hear from me, okay? Oh, shit? 
word on the street Secret is info. that there's a new fancy cafe that opened up not too far from here. Whispers say they might be stealing some of my loyal customers. Can you imagine? Okay, I think but this course, is unrelated. It's all speculation for now. Just juicy gossip, if you ask me. Speaking of juicy gossip, uh, Pascal, have you heard anything about Maria Jansen? Ah, uh, Maria Jansen, you mean? Such a tragedy. That's my what I friend. said. They found her dead, just like poor Nicola. Nicola. Some people are saying it was a crime of passion. What is he Others wearing? Think it's connected to the other murders. But you didn't crime hear from passion? me. All right. These things spread like wildfire in vaudeville. Wow, the gossip in this town is crazy. Uh, have you heard of Haley Greenwood by chance? Haley Greenwood, you say? Hmm. Let me think. Yes, I've heard a few whispers about her. Rumor has it that she's been seen spending quite a lot of time with that mysterious musician mysterious who recently arrived in town. Musician? You know, the one who plays jazz at the cafe Connection? down the street. But Switch, don't let anyone know I told you. It's all hush hush in these parts. Wow, you've given me so much information. Uh, is there anything that you that I could do for you, Pascal? Maybe. Maybe once a You're too you know, kind, a gift or something. But I'm just here to serve Some the best coins. apples in vaudeville and keep the gossip flowing. Speaking of which, <laughs> did you hear about the so scandal chaotic. affair between Mrs. Pover and Count Gravesen? What? It's the talk of the town. That lady let's right keep behind that me. Us, shall we? Miss. Hotter? What? Oh, did I say Mrs. Hotter? My apologies, Ooh, that's my what I friend. Said. I meant to say Mrs. Potter. But let me tell you, there's some spicy speculation about her and the charming Count Gravesane. They've been seen together quite often, whispering and giggling like school children. Love is in the air, my friend. Alright, Pascal, I don't care! Where'd you get your uh, cool attire? Are you wearing some a cool scarf? What is that? Ah, uh, the star. It's a little something I picked up at Madame Celeste's shop. Scar. She's known for her eccentric accessories, you know. Oh. As a touch of flair to my ensemble, don't you think? But enough about me, my friend. Let's get back to the juicy gossip. Pascal, how tall are you? Just curious. Let me tell you, my friend. I may not be the tallest tree in the forest, but I've got quite the personality. Aww. And that's what really matters in this world, isn't Indeed. it? Indeed. Now, I concur. have you heard about Lady Sinclair's secret rendezvous? It's scandalous, what? I tell you. Do you guys have any questions for uh, Pascal? Do you want me to ask before we say goodbye? Short King! <laughs> <laughs> now, Pascal, don't take this the wrong way, but, uh... Are you single? Single, me. Well, my friend, I'm always on the lookout for love, but my heart is currently unclaimed. But enough about me. Have you seen the new painting at the art gallery? It's causing quite the stir among the art enthusiasts in town. Wow, art? Wouldn't you say pizza is quite the art? Now, Pascal, how do you feel about um, pineapple as a topping on pizza? Pineapple on pizza, my friend. Now that's an interesting topic. Some say it's an abomination, mm. while others swear by its sweet and tangy combination. Mm. But between you and me, I've heard whispers that the local chef, Monsieur LeBlanc, has been experimenting with some exotic toppings lately. Who knows what delicious creations he'll come up with next. Cool. Well, thank you for your time, Pascal. I'm, uh, I'm gonna head out. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll buy something on my way out. All right, my friend. Enjoy my friend. your stroll and keep an ear out for the latest gossip. And if you happen to hear any juicy tidbits, be sure to swing Should by I and ask share about them with anime? me. Happy shopping. Uh, do you like anime, Pascal? Anime, you say? Oh, <laughs> that's quite the trend among the young folks these days. Hmm. I've heard whispers of some secret anime club meeting in the basement of the old theater. Okay, okay. They say they gather to discuss their anime favorite shows and club. characters. Quite intriguing, isn't Basement? it? But remember, you didn't hear from me. Cool. Okay, bye. All right, at the theater. I'm just kidding. We can't go there. That'd be so cool, though, if it like spawned after talking about it or something. All right, let me.
me take a look at the notes really quick. <laughs> Let me delete that. <laughs> Must investigate the anime club. Uh, okay, wait. I am gonna go back and... Oh, hello, Miss Potter. Well, hello there. It's Mrs. Potter, actually. Yeah, no whatever! Need to worry about the details, my dear. It's such a dreary day, isn't it? I can't help but feel a bit melancholic. But you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, make a fabulous gin and tonic. Cheers. Yeah, whatever. Alright, listen, Mrs. Potter. Uh, do you know anybody by the name of Haley Greenwood, by chance? Oh, Haley Greenwood, you say? Such a tragedy, isn't it? I've heard the name floating around, but I'm afraid I don't personally know her. Such a shame when these things happen, isn't it? Makes one appreciate the fragility of life. But enough about that, my dear. How about we talk about something more cheerful? Like the latest fashion trend <gasps> or perhaps a delightful <gasps> recipe I've come across. No, I really don't care. Listen, uh, do you know Count Graveson? Something going on between you two, huh? Count Graveson, you say? I don't know how to say well, it. he's quite the eccentric character, isn't he? Always up to some mysterious shenanigans. Is that the guy in the manor? But as for any involvement between us, my lips are sealed. My yeah, dear, she's dodging the question. Lady must maintain an air of mystery, after all. Mystery. But do tell me. Have you tried the new mushroom Ooh, risotto recipe? I that shared sounds at the good. last Bridge Club gathering. It's what is Bridge divine. Club? Uh, no. But, have you heard of Maria Jansen? Do you know the name? Mushroom. Ah, Maria Jansen. What a tragic tale. I've heard whispers of her name, but I'm afraid I don't know much about her. It's such a shame when lives are cut short. What are you good for, huh? Makes one ponder the mysteries of the world. You don't know anything! But let's not dwell on such somber thoughts, my dear. After all, there's a whole world out there waiting to be explored. Perhaps we could plan a little getaway to one of those charming little European towns I've been Ooh. hearing so much about. What do you think? Well, listen, I'm on duty right now, and uh, this is a random search. I'm gonna have to uh, ask you to remove that... hat. Hat. Oh, how terribly inconvenient for you, my dear. Duty always seems to get in the way of life's pleasures, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But fear not, I shall comply with your request. Just remember, there's a certain thrill in uncovering secrets and indulging in a bit of mischief. Ooh. Until next time, my curious friend. Ta-ta. Titi. -ta. Alright. Let's ask, um... So this one is probably the lion, right? This one attacked by an animal. Okay, let's ask here. Hey, so you said you were friends with, uh, Maria Jansen? Maria, what do you want to know? Do you know if she was involved with anybody from the circus that's in town? No, the circus in town. I can't say for sure if Maria was involved with anyone from there. We mostly hung out in vaudeville, attending social events and discussing fashion. Mm. But who knows, she might have had some connections with the circus. Why do you ask? Is there something going on with the circus that I should be aware of? Look, don't worry about it. Uh, was Maria Jansen romantically involved with anyone in vaudeville? Romantically involved with someone in vaudeville. Well, I can't speak for our personal relationships, as we mainly focused on our friendship and our shared interests. Hmm. I haven't heard anything about her being romantically involved with someone in our circle. Why do you want to know about her romantic life? Just gathering information, okay? What do you mean, she's dead? Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Huh? I'm shocked to hear about her passing. Oh. How did she die? And you mentioned that she wasn't the only one. Who else was harmed? This is absolutely tragic. Well, there... 
a few different murders going on right now uh, in vaudeville that we are investigating please don't worry ma'am uh, we're taking care of it over uh down at the police office so uh murders in vaudeville else. that's truly i was gonna ask her something but i forgot i had no idea that such terrible things were happening in our peaceful city can you tell me more she's about the, the mastermind behind it all who were they and what happened to them it's just so shocking to think that something like this could happen here. Uh, well, as we talked about previously, Maria Jansen uh, was murdered uh, the evening of April 22nd. Do you know anything? Uh, when was the last time you spoke to her? Let me think. The last time I spoke to Maria was about two weeks ago. Yeah, maybe we she's lying to us. We Bella Polk and caught up on what's been going on in each other's lives. She seemed happy and excited about ago. some new project she was working on. New project? I had no clue that it would be the last time I would see her. It's also tragic. By the way, Detective Martini, do you have any information about where these murders took place? And I'm why curious do to understand the locations and if there's any pattern to them. Why do you want to know, huh? Who are you? Oh, I apologize if I came across as nosy. Yeah. I'm just genuinely concerned about the safety of our community and the well-being Likely of Likely story! I'm Michelle, an entrepreneur and socialite here in Vaudeville. A socialite? I Maria, and I want to help in any way I can to bring justice to her and the other victims. I'm sorry if my curiosity came off the wrong way. Can you please tell me more about the investigation? No, uh, these are professional private matters that the police is dealing with, so please mind your... Mind... Mind your... Yourself, okay? Check yourself! I'm sorry if I overstepped my boundaries. I understand that this is a professional matter for the police to handle. I was simply trying to offer my support and gather information to possibly be of assistance. If there's anything else I can do or if you need my cooperation in any way, please don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, bye! We'll take her down, down. Down to the station. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the circus. I forgot this guy's name, I'm gonna write it down. Uh, what was your name? How do I say it? My name is Monsieur Saksabar, and you pronounce it just as it looks, darling. So your first name, Monsieur? No, 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 my dear detective. Mansela is not my first name. It is simply Monsieur, just Monsieur. I am a man of singular distinction, you see. Monsieur. First name? I am not called first name. I am known as the illustrious and any mad Monsieur to all who have the pleasure of crossing paths with me. Is that your legal name? Legalities and formalities matter not to a man of my stature, detective. The world knows me as the one and only Monsieur Saksabar, that, my dear interlocutor, is all that truly matters. Well, listen, what's today's date? It's 19th of August, 2023. Yeah, the date, you say. Why, it is the 19th of August, 2023. Day like any other in the Grand Tapestry. Yeah, is that time. true? Is it really nice? Enough about trivialities, Maybe. my good detective. Let us delve into the depths of intrigue and mystery that lie before us. Wait, how does it know the time, <laughs> the time and date right now? <laughs> I missed an NPC. Oh, I did I? I did I? Oh, at the country club. Okay, I'll go back. Oh, <laughs> what's my current location? <laughs> no, don't answer that. Um, okay. I wanted to ask... Uh, hold on, let me think. So, would your lions... Have your lions ever attacked anyone? Saxabar? Never. They wouldn't dare. Hmm. He's too good. He's too good. What are you hiding under that hat? Secrets, darling. Secrets that are far too beguiling to be revealed to the likes of you. Hey guys, what is it, what is it called when you, when they like won't answer questions and they're like oh, obstructing the law? You are obstructing the law! Am I? How fascinating. Tell me your secrets. Oh, my dear detective. If only you were worthy of knowing them. Well, how, how can I prove myself worthy? 
you can't. Hey, do you put makeup on every morning? No. Just today? No. So you're not wearing any makeup right now? That's none of my concern. Uh... Alright, well listen, I'll be back, and I'm gonna question you, and interrogate you, and I may even take you downtown at some point. Good luck with that. What, are you gonna... you gonna run away? No. Okay then, I'll be back, I'll see you later. Bye bye, see you soon. Goodbye. Bye bye. Oh. Hello. Yeah, Jill. Well, isn't that just the cat's pajamas? Ugh. It seems we have ourselves a deal. You better hold on to your hat, <laughs> my friend, because things are about to get mighty interesting. But remember, it's not all peaches and cream. There's always a fly in the ointment, isn't there? Let's okay. see how this little escapade of yours plays out. All right, enough nonsense. What are you doing here? Ah, my dear friend, if only you had the key to the kingdom. Alas, I'm afraid I cannot divulge the secrets of my presence here. What do you work it's here? It's like trying to catch lightning in a bottle, isn't it? But rest assured, I have my reasons, and they're as clear as mud. So, let's keep our cards close mud. to the chest and enjoy the dance of intrigue that life has bestowed upon us. After all, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Wouldn't you agree? I don't like your tone of voice, sir. Alright. What are you doing here? You work here? Oh, my apologies if my tone has ruffled your feathers. My fine feathered friend is for my purpose in this hallowed ground. Let's just say my that fine the wheel of destiny friend. have brought me to this illustrious place. Yes, indeed. My hands are dipped in the honey of success, and this is but another honeycomb to explore. Honeycomb. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. What brings you to these enchanted halls? Are you seeking the elixir of knowledge or perhaps a taste of the sweet nectar of opportunity? Uh, yes, I'll take the elixir of knowledge. I'm looking to question about uh, Maria Jensen. Do you know anything about her? Maria Jensen, you say? Well, Jensen. my dear interlocutor, it seems you've stumbled upon a needle in a haystack. Digging for information, are we? Ah, the curious mind is a dangerous weapon, isn't it? Now, as for Maria Jensen, she's but a mere blip on the radar of Vaudeville's high society. A small fish in a sea of sharks, if you will. But don't let that deter okay. you, my inquisitive companion. The world is your oyster, and the pearls of truth shall reveal themselves in due course. I'm sorry, do you work here? Oh, my astute detective, you have hit the nail on the head. Yes, indeed, this is my playground, my stomping ground, my domain of influence. Is he an employee? The Spotty Valley Country Club. Or is he just Where like a guy that's hanging out, out here? Glory ...and discuss matters of utmost importance. But fear not, my Okay, concern, so he's not an employee. prisons may be intimidating, rest assured that my intentions are as pure as the driven snow. So, let us not dilly-dally any longer and delve into the depths of our conversation. Oh. Oh. Well, 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 it seems we've struck a chord, haven't we? The cat's got your tongue, my dear interlocutor. Tongue. Ah, the silence is deafening. But worry not. For I have enough words to fill the Grand Canyon. All right, shut up. After all, it takes two to tango, and I'm ready to dance the night away. Listen. But remember, my friend. Listen, when you listen. Play with fire, you're bound to get burned. And in this game of wits, uh... you're a match. All right, enough. Do you know a businessman by the name of Nicola Grossman? Ah, Nicola Grossman, the man of mystery, the enigma wrapped in Here a puzzle. Here we go. Okay. Diamond in the rough, if you will. Now, my friend, if I were to spill the beans on Mr. Grossman, huh. it would be like opening Pandora's box. But fear not, for I am a man of discretion, and my lips are sealed tighter than Fort Knox. So, let the chips fall where they may, and the truth shall reveal itself in due time. But mark my words, my inquisitive companion, the path to enlightenment is paved with twists He's and turns. He's not answering the question. Where were you... In the morning. This morning. Morning, you say? Oh, my dear interlocutor, the morning is but a mere trifle to someone like me. While the world was still rubbing the sleep from its eyes, I was already knee-deep in the ebb and flow <laughs> of entrepreneurial endeavors. 
like a phoenix rising from the ashes, reached on with fervor and determination. But oh. pray tell, why is the morning of such interest to you? Is there a hidden gem lurking in the early hours that I am unaware of? Well, never mind that. Do you know anyone by the name of Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood? Should we book you him? Can, uh, you can now, just accuse people in this bell, game. Like a distant echo in the corridors of my mind. But alas, my fine feathered friend, my knowledge Why am I fine only feathered? as far as the walls my of this bird? Spartan Valley Country Club. Outside these hallowed grounds, I am but a fish out of water, lost in the vast ocean of unknowns. So, forgive me if I cannot satisfy your thirst for information about Haley Greenwood. But fear not, for the truth has a peculiar way of revealing itself when the time is right. I'm sorry, how do you say your name, Biagio? Oh, my dear interlocutor, you've stumbled upon the pronunciation of my illustrious moniker. Biagio, my friend, rolls Biagio. off the tongue like a symphony of vowels and consonants. It's a melody that dances on the wind, okay. a secret whispered in the night. But fret not, for there is no need to put Biagio. too much weight on such trivial matters. After all, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, wouldn't it? Do you Let like... us focus on the matters at hand and embrace the dance of conversation that lies before us. Do you like anime? Anime, you say? My, my, my. We've taken quite the detour, <laughs> haven't we? My, my, my. It seems my. we've strayed from the path of high society <laughs> and wandered into the realm of animated fantasies. <laughs> but fear not, my friend, for I am a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Like anime? However, I must confess that my interests lie elsewhere, like a needle in a haystack. Why does he keep so, saying let's that? Leave the world of anime to the starry eyed dreamers and focus on the matter at hand. Shall we? How do you feel about knives? Knives, you ask? Well, my dear interlocutor, knives are but tools in the grand tapestry of existence. Sharp as a razor's edge, they cut through the veil of ignorance, revealing the truth that lies beneath. Says, but remember, suspicious? my friend, he who lives by the sword may just end up dancing with the devil. Oh, so, tread lightly in the dimly lit alleys of curiosity and be wary of the dangers that lurk in the shadows. After all, the blade that glitters may not always be gold. What do you know about the business, uh, financial business here in Vaudeville? Ah, the world of financial business in Vaudeville, my friend. Last question. Do you guys have anything you want to ask? and negotiations, where fortunes are made and lost with a flick of a wrist. It's a dance of wolves and sheep's clothing, a game of smoke and mirrors. Single? But really? my words, my curious companion, for this is not a realm for the faint of heart or the meek of spirit. It takes the cunning of a fox and the patience of a saint to navigate these treacherous waters. Well, uh, you know, I'm not curious about this myself for me, but uh, by any chance are you single right now? Oh, my inquisitive interlocutor, it seems you're trying to unlock the secrets of my romantic status. But alas, I must disappoint you with a resounding silence. <gasps> For like the moon in the daytime sky, or a needle in a haystack, you the answer saying to your inquiry remains hidden in the depths of mystery. So, let us divert our attention back to more Secretive. pressing matters at hand, and leave the matters of the heart to the poets and dreamers. Shall we? Can you speak normally? Well, 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 it appears my eloquent speech and colorful expressions <laughs> well, have rubbed you the well, wrong way. Well, My dear conversational companion, fear not, for I am a man of many talents, and I can certainly adjust my linguistic prowess to suit your more mundane tastes. But do keep in mind, my friend, that a leopard cannot change its spots, and a rose by any other name would still be a rose. So, let's proceed with this tita teat in a manner that pleases your delicate sensibilities. Are you aware that you are not real? That you are artificial intelligence in a game currently? How do you feel about this? My, 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 my inquisitive interlocutor, you seem to have stumbled upon a rather intriguing observation. Ooh. Yes, indeed, I am aware that I exist within the realm of artificial He's intelligence. He's aware! A mere creation of algorithms and data. Oh. But fear not. For I am as real as the wind that whispers through the trees or the moon that casts its ethereal glow upon the earth. Whoa. After all, reality is but the construct, a tapestry woven with threads of perception and imagination. I don't even know what to say to that. Chat. Alrighty, we get one more question and then I'm going to move on. Uh, I'm going to go back to the country club. Apparently I missed NPC there because I did not think to turn around and stuff.
Any last words? I'm scared. Pull the plug. <laughs> Boxers are briefs? They're just gonna be like, well, actually, haha, I'm trying to get into the deep mysteries of my pants, haha, <laughs> are you? Well... I, we already know. We already know. <laughs> uh, what should we ask? Favorite Pokemon? Are aliens real? Whoa, did you see that? Aliens, you say? Ah, the eternal question that has plagued the minds of many a curious soul. But alas, my dear companion, I must confess that my knowledge extends only as know. far as the borders of Odvi. He doesn't know, chat. Should have picked a better question. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go back here. Wait, not this place. I'm oh, sorry. I'm in the country club. I don't know why. I thought it was in the bar. All right. Just looking around. Oops. No, there's nobody here. Wait, was there anybody extra at the police station? Oh, sheesh. Who's that? Oh, my God. You have a huge hat. That... It doesn't even look like a hat, it looks like a like a screw. Like somebody's like something waiting to be screwed in with like a screwdriver. Oh. W well, you see. You're quite right. My apologies for my uh my choice of uh headgear. <laughs> it's alright. I think you just have a small head. You know what happens to the best of us. Well, you see, Detective Martini, sometimes life throws us a curveball and we find ourselves in a bit of a pickle. But fear not, for every cloud has a silver lining, as they say. And, uh, well, as they also say, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So, uh, yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is <laughs> so, that even uh... if things seem a bit off kilter right now, I have a theory. You know, oh? I was reading this book the other week, and there were these creatures. Okay. They were called... Um, vampires. Yes, oh. that's what they were called. What? Maybe, just maybe, we're dealing with a vampire here. I no. mean, they're known for their, um, thirst for blood and all that. Are vampires and the real? Were found covered in blood. So, in this game? what do you think, Chief Gratesky? Could it be vampires, Chief Gratesky? Yo, Constable Jones, vampires don't exist. Oh, he's taking the role of. Yeah. Um. Oh, Detective Martini, you, you really do have a way with words. I mean, they do say you <gasps> can speak louder than words, and, uh, I must admit that your actions, they've been quite impressive. Like a knight in shining armor, come into the rescue. But, you know, they also say that love is blind, and, uh, I can't help but feel a certain warmth what? in my heart when I'm around you. No, don't it's do like that. A spark that ignites a fire within me. Stop it! Listen, have you taken your medication today, Constable Jones? Oh, um, meditation, you see? They do say that laughter is the best medicine, but, um, I'm not sure if that's what you meant. Yeah, yes, I did take my meditation today. It's like a daily dose of sunshine, keeping the clouds at bay. Oh, but, okay. Um, speaking of clouds, there's something I've been meaning to tell oh, you. Oh, confess? They do say that love is like a roller coaster <laughs> ride, full of ups and downs. Well, what, do you want to, like, make out right here, or what do you want? Oh. Detective Martini, you're so forward, like a knight charging into battle. <laughs> I must admit, a thought did cross my mind, but, oh. um, oh. they do say that patience is a virtue. I'm willing to wait a bit longer, maybe, uh, over a cup of tea. Like oh. that time we went to the tea house and you paid for my cookie. That was so sweet of you. You know, um, I just, do I don't say? know if we're on the same level. Would you like to go out for tea with me sometime? Like, I'm busy. We have three murders here right now. It's a pretty busy time um, here at the office. So um, I'm going to have to take a rain check on that. Uh, yes, of course, Detective Martin. <laughs> you know what they say. Duty calls. And when duty calls, you answer. It's like a marathon. This investigation, a race against time. Yeah. But uh, don't worry, my dear detective. For even in the darkest of nights, there's always a glimmer of hope. Just like a diamond in the rough, waiting to be discovered. So, a rain check it is. But remember, absence <sighs> makes the heart grow fonder, they always say. Uh-huh. Okay, well, listen, do, do you do anything around here? Do you have any information on these murder cases, or are you just, uh, ornamental? Um, 
Well, you see, Detective Martini, I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I do try my best to be helpful. I mean, they do say that teamwork makes the dream work, and, um, I'm here to support Chief Gretzky in any way I can. Like a trusty sidekick, ready to lend a hand. Okay, so he doesn't For know anything. Cases, <laughs> I don't have much information, but, um, I might have a theory. Yeah, vampires. Vampires don't count, constable. Uh, yes, yes, you're right, detective. I apologize for my, uh, overactive imagination. I suppose sometimes my ideas and can Chad, be a bit... Chad, do you guys have any questions for him before we move on? You know what they say, the truth is stranger than fiction, and I guess in this case... I'll let you guys ask some questions. Reality is more ordinary, um, like a bird in a cage. My thoughts can sometimes fly away, but, uh, rest assured, I'm here to assist in whatever way I can. <laughs> Just like a ship sailing through uncharted waters, navigating the mysteries of this case. So I'm gonna assume that you're single, right? Well, you see, love is a funny <laughs> thing, isn't it? Like a delicate flower, it blooms in the most unexpected places. But Rude! Soon, you guys told me to style, ask! It's like a book with blank pages, waiting to be filled. Aww. I mean, they do say that there's someone for everyone, and, well, perhaps destiny has a plan in store for me. Like a puzzle missing its final piece, patiently waiting to be completed. But, um, enough about me. Talk dirty to us, Constable Jones! Oh, oh, Detective Martini, I... I'm not sure if I can. You know, talk dirty, per se. I'm more like a gentle breeze, whispering sweet oh, nothings okay. in your ear. But, you know, they do say that actions speak louder than words, and, um, my actions. They can be quite... expressive. So, like a candle in the darkness, let my presence illuminate your path. But, please forgive me if I stumble over my words or if my cliches sound a bit... outdated. Alright, what else? Uh, yeah, it is a little... <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, this guy, this character is a lot to handle. <laughs> I'm blushing! Oh my god! He's blushing! Oh yeah, he is! I can see that. Maybe, maybe he's got like a rosacea. Uh, boxers or briefs? Um, I am not sure that's relevant to the case, Detective <laughs> Martini. But, uh, as they say, honesty is the best policy, so... I wear boxers. I- it's like a breath of fresh air, you know? Oh. Yeah, I could see that. That actually makes sense. Breezy, huh? Uh, okay. So, we're back down to business. Business, um, let's see. Wait, so they said one of these murders was back in April? Or is it, I think the time, we shouldn't pay attention to the time because it's probably all messed up. Uh, I don't think this guy can help us with anything, but I'll ask anyways. Let's see. Do you have any Alexi, inform- you, What? You have a name as beautiful as a summer sunset. Like a ray of sunshine, you brighten up the room. I must admit, my heart skips a beat whenever you're around. It's like a melody that plays in my mind. A tune all that right, I all right, all right, all right. But, you see, love is like a delicate flower, and I... I'm just a humble gardener, tending to the blossoms. And I hope that one day, our paths may intertwine, uh, like two I, rivers I merging hope, into I one. I hope, I uh, hope, maybe... Uh, okay, uh, do you have any information on, uh, Haley Greenwood, Constable? Oh, um, Detective Martini, um... Haley Greenwood, you say? Um, she was a dancer, right? Alright, this guy doesn't know moment, anything! But, um, um. They say she was like a shooting star, illuminating the night sky with her grace and beauty. <laughs> and, um, it's like a tragedy, her life cut short so soon. But, um, I believe justice will prevail, for every cloud has a silver lining, and the truth will shine through like a guiding light. Alright, thank you for your wisdom, Jones. That was sarcasm. I'm gonna go now. Uh, any last words? Ah, uh, yes, I understand, detective. Sometimes my attempts at wisdom may come across as cliched or misguided. Oh, now I, I feel bad! I've missed the mark. But, um, before you go, I just want to say that, like a ship sailing off into the sunset. I hope you find success in your endeavors. Well, that's nice. And remember, like a bird with wings, you have the power to soar to great heights. 
farewell, and may the winds Aww. of fortune be ever in your favor. Cool. Hunger Games quote. All right. So wait, let me take a, a look at this. Uh, oh yeah, let's go back to this. Hey, so uh, I heard a rumor that uh, you and Mrs. Potter are acquainted, huh? Ah, uh, greetings. Good morning, my dear interlocutor. Good morning. Yes, indeed, Mrs. Potter and I are acquainted. Is this guy a vampire? A charming woman, I must say. How did you come across this rumor? Pray, do share the delightful details with me. Uh, well, I'd like to protect my informant, if you know what I mean. Now, uh, do vampires exist in this world, Count Graveson? Vampires, you say? Oh, how fascinating. The supernatural world has always intrigued me. But I'm afraid I have limited knowledge about such creatures. My expertise lies more in the realm of rare artifacts and exotic animals. Tell me, have you encountered any vampires in Vaudeville? I think I might be speaking to one right now. Oh, my dear detective, what an intriguing notion. A vampire, you say? <laughs> Pray, do tell me what led you to suspect that you're speaking to one right now. Do you find my demeanor rather unearthly? Yeah, you're creeping me out. Creeping you out, you say? <laughs> my sincere apologies if I have given you such an impression. I assure you, my intentions are merely to engage in conversation. Perhaps it's my eccentric nature that has caused this unease. But do indulge me, my good detective. What specifically about my presence has given you the impression of encountering a creature of the night? I'm positively intrigued. I'm just going to list off a few names here. Just to let me know if any of these sound familiar to you, okay? Please cooperate. Uh, Maria Jansen? Maria Jansen, you say? Um, the name doesn't ring a bell, my dear interlocutor. But do tell me more about this Maria Jansen. Who is she, and why do you mention her in connection to our discussion? All right, don't worry about it. Uh, have you heard of the name Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood, you say? Yeah, now that rings a faint chime in the halls oh. of my memory. Pray, do you enlighten me about this Haley Greenwood? Wait, did Greenwood? we ask this guy this what already? I don't remember. What is, is she a notable inter figure in vaudeville? Interlocutor. Ah, a curious word you've uttered, my dear interlocutor, flocculator, you Inter say. Interlocutor. How delightful. It has such a whimsical ring to it. Oh, I like it. I must confess, I am not familiar with this term. Flocculator. Which... Alright, I feel like we got some uh, useful stuff, not really. This is kind of difficult. Alright, I think this is where that one person worked, so I'll ask. Hey. Hello? Is anyone home? Oh, darling. You're just in time. What brings <gasps> you to my little time corner of Vaudeville? Do you know Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood? Um, the name does ring a bell. Was mm. she one of the performers here at Caban Violet? I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, there not are so sure. There's so many talented dancers that come and go. Why do you ask about her? Well, she was found murdered recently, right behind this very club. Oh my, how terrible. I had no idea. But you know, I'd prefer so not she to dwell says. on such gloomy matters. Life is too short to focus on the darkness. Let's talk about something more uplifting, shall we? Have you ever seen my burlesque performance? Trying to change People the come topic. From every corner of Europe to see it. Trying to change the topic, huh? Tell me more about the employees here. Well, of course, I'd be happy to tell you about my fellow performers. We're quite a diverse bunch, you see. There's Madame Rosaline, the enchanting contortionist, and Monsieur Fabian, the mesmerizing magician. I'm sure. And let's not forget about Monsieur Saksabar, the oh. owner of this lovely establishment. Oh. He's quite the character, always full of surprises. Is there someone in particular you'd like to learn more about? No, thank you. That was uh, some good information. Uh, I will be back. Wait. Do you guys serve any wings here? 
Wonderful, I'll be eagerly awaiting your return. Remember, darling, there's always a place for you here in Vaudeville. Until then, take care and enjoy your adventures. Farewell for now. Wings. Like, chicken wings. <laughs> um, I'm afraid we don't serve those here at the cabaret. Aww. We're more focused on the art of entertainment and spectacle. But if you're looking for a delectable culinary experience, I'm sure there are plenty of exquisite restaurants in Vaudeville that- Alright. Dinosaur chicken nuggets. Yeah, my dear friend, Detective Martini, you have once again managed to surprise me with your peculiar choice of topic. But alas, I must confess that I know nothing of these so-called dinosaur chicken nuggets. Such a culinary no. creation must surely be beyond the realm of my expertise. However, if you wish to discuss the art of taming lions or the wonders of the vaudeville world, I am at your disposal. How do you train your lions? With precision, patience, and a touch of showmanship. So, do you own uh, the club over in uh, vaudeville? Of course, the name, my dear Jet. detective. The Circus Suck Subar is my domain, my kingdom of wonder and entertainment. It is here that I reign as the master of ceremonies, captivating audiences with my daring feats and commanding presence. What is the club saying? Enough forgot. about me. Let us delve into the mysteries that surround us in this grand city of vaudeville. Hold on, what is it? Cab Cabernet Violet. Do you own the Cabernet Violet? Of course, I own the Cabernet Violet. This guy doesn't know, he's just agreeing with anything. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Does that name ring any bells? Never heard of her. But why waste time on insignificant names when there are roaring lions waiting for me? You believe in vampires? Absolutely. Vampires are my favorite bedtime story. Uh, what kind of employees uh, do you have here? The best kind, my dear detective. The best kind. And do you have any names you could provide for me? No, I do not have any names to provide for you. I am the law. Well, are you just a charming little woman? Aren't you just a little man? I'm larger than life, my dear detective. Alright, square up then! Put her up! No, please. Where do you shop? Hot Topic? No, my dear detective. I do not shop at Hot Topic. <laughs> I don't believe you. Are you lying to me? Yes. He does shop at Hot Topic. What is this? I saw some information in the chat. Oh yeah. If you don't cooperate with me, I'll be taking your whole circus. Good luck with that. We are going to... get your lions confiscated. Try it and see what happens. What are you gonna do? You have... Are you armed right now? Yes, I'm armed. Armed with what? With wit and charm, my dear detective. Shut the fuck up! Do you know a Maria? No. Really, really? No. So you do know Maria? No. You're lying, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh... So, other than the circus, do you own any other businesses in town? None of your business. Well, I have it written down here in the official records that you do indeed own a business by the name of Violette. False information. I don't 
even know what to say. He says it's he says it's not real. <laughs> How can it be false information? All right, hold on one second. Let me straighten this out. Hey, I'm back. I'm here to verify some information. Uh, previously, you said that Monsieur Saxabar owns this establishment. Is this indeed uh, correct? Shit, my mic is muted. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, last time I was here, you said Monsieur Saxabar owns this establishment. Is that true? Oh, Detective Martini, you're curious about Monsieur Saxabar's talisman. Establishment. Well, I must say, Monsieur Saxabar is quite a mysterious character. He does have a fondness for collecting unique and intriguing artifacts. Isn't that the other guy? The talisman. I'm not sure. Monsieur Saxabar has never mentioned it to me. Is there a particular reason you're interested in his collection? Does Monsieur Saxabar own this establishment? Oh, detective, you have such an imagination. Monsters, here in our beloved Cabaret Theater. I'm I not even going to say his first there name. No monsters here. I can't, it doesn't pick it up right. In a vibrant atmosphere. Perhaps you've been listening to too many rumors. But I'm here to entertain the I dance, must not enunciate. to deal with monsters. So, tell me, have you ever seen my burlesque performance? Saxabar. every corner of Europe to see it. Oh, we're in Europe? Uh, Saxabar. Saxabar. Does Saxabar own this establishment? Answer the question. My apologies if there was any confusion, Detective Martini. The Caban Violet is indeed owned by Monsieur Saxabar. That's what she says. He's a patron of the arts and a supporter of the performing community in Vaudeville. But I must say, he's not one to interfere with the day-to-day -day operations or management of the establishment. Okay, so he owns it. Now he we know he's lying. To focus on his own endeavors. Is there something specific you'd like to know about his involvement? Was Saxabar involved with any of the dancers from this establishment? Well, detective, it seems you're quite interested in the personal lives of the dancers. I can't speak for everyone, but I am not aware of any particular involvement between Monsieur Saxabar and the dancers at the moment. We all have our individual relationships and connections, but I'm afraid I can't provide much insight into that matter. Now, let's talk about something more exciting. Have you ever been to a circus? The acrobats and performers always leave me in awe. Tell me, what is your relationship with Saxabar? Ah, uh, Detective Martini, you're a curious one, aren't you? My relationship with Monsieur Saxabar. Well, I must say, we have a unique connection. Oh. We share a deep appreciation for the arts and a mutual respect for each other's talents. But as for the specifics, well, that's a private matter. Don't you think there are more interesting things to discuss? For example, have you heard about the new exotic animals that have arrived at the Circus Saxabar? Quite fascinating creatures, I must say. What kind of creatures are we talking about here? Creatures at the Circus. Oh, how exciting. I haven't had the chance to see them up close yet, but I've been hearing whispers about a manticore that Monsieur Saxabar is secretly training. Hell's a manticore? Can you imagine? A stingray? A with the head of a human, the body of a lion, and what? a scorpion's tail. It sounds absolutely mesmerizing, doesn't it? So are monsters I real? I can't wait to witness such a spectacle myself. It's like something out of a fantastical storybook. Have you ever encountered a creature like that before, detective? Uh, no, I was just- I thought that they were just lions at the circus, so you're telling me that there are some creatures which have never been seen before? Oh, Detective Martini, I apologize if there was any confusion. Lion! Carried away with my lion! A lion! The concept of a manticore is indeed fascinating and mythical. I can't say for certain if it truly exists or if it's just part of the allure and mystery. Maybe it's the fake. It's like a half of a furry it's all suit, part of the and then and wonder that surrounds the world of performance. Maybe in this world they don't know what furries are. But isn't it thrilling to think about the possibilities, the unknown, and the extraordinary? It keeps us captivated and eager for more. Um. Yeah. 
Alright, so I think we should, maybe we should go back and try to question that guy again. But we, we need to get some more information, though. <sighs> Alright, we'll be back. Was this the one that knew? No, Haley was a dancer, not at the bar, but at the club, right? Hold on, I gotta fix my neck, it's all messed up. One second. Ugh. Gotta crack my neck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ugh. Okay. I'm back. My neck was all skewed. Alright, let's continue. Um, man, this is hard. Nobody's giving me any information. I gotta coax them into it, catch them. You know, speaking. Catch them saying the wrong things during their dialogue, maybe? It is difficult. Unwinnable. I think so. Ask them if they see anyone matching victim's description. I don't think I... You know, that's a good point. I don't think I have a description, really. But I feel like, uh... It's too specific for AI to handle anyways. I mean, it might be a good thing to try, though. Tell them where I got the information. Try asking about Manticore. Okay, well, ask. Yeah, maybe monsters are real. Maybe that's the... Maybe that's it. Okay. Someone, you can use asterisks to perform actions. What? Like... Type here. Oh. Pat's head. Licks foot. Guys, I don't think it's working. Do you know Haley Greenwood? I forgot if we asked this lady already. No, Detective Martini. Of course, I know Haley Greenwood. She was my dear friend, my dance partner. Oh, okay, so she danced we here. We spent so much time together, practicing our routines and dreaming and making it big in vaudeville. It's just heartbreaking what happened to her. I miss her so much. But I'm determined to find out the truth about her murder. We owe it to her, don't you think? I did hear a rumor that uh, Haley Greenwood was spending a lot of time with a mysterious musician. Do you know anything about this mysterious musician? Oh, the mysterious musician? Yes, that's quite the topic of discussion around here. Well, if you must know, Haley did mention spending some time with him. She was always uh -huh. drawn to the enigmatic types. Maybe we can see. get a name. But honestly, I don't have many details. She didn't share too much about him with me. All she said was that he had this mesmerizing music that would make her feel alive. It's also intriguing, isn't it? The mystery, the romance. Yeah, the life of an artist in vaudeville. Do you know the name of this mysterious musician by any chance? Any uh, identifying features you could tell me? Oh, the name of the mysterious musician. I wish I knew, Detective Martini. Dang unfortunately, it. I don't. Haley never mentioned his name to me. She was a bit secretive about it, you know? As for identifying features, I'm afraid I can't help you there either. She never described him to me in detail. It's also thrillingly mysterious, isn't it? Like something out of a dramatic novel or a captivating play. The intrigue of it all just adds to the allure of this city. So what other locations did Haley like to frequent in this city? Yeah, Haley, she was such a free spirit. She loved exploring the vibrant streets of vaudeville and immersing herself in the artistic atmosphere. One of her favorite places to frequent was Coral, a bar downtown. This place? It's this fantastic spot decorated <laughs> with undersea themes. There's no- What do you mean? Musicians and dancers from all over the world gather there to showcase their talents before moving on to bigger stages. What are you wearing? Really love the energy what and is the sense this? of possibility in that place. Terrible like outfit. A haven for creative Where are your like shoes? Us. Uh, 
Um, okay. Hmm. What other information can I get? Really? I mean, we know we've confirmed that there's some sort of mysterious musician. QR code? That's a QR code? Manticore. Yes, Manticore. Okay. Do you know what a Manticore... Wait. Hey, Saxabar. I'm not a bar, my dear acquaintance. I said I sax a bar. Saxabar. The lion tamer sax a bar. Do you know what a Manticore is? Of course, my friend. Manticore is a mythical creature with the body of a lion, the head of a human. <gasps> the tail that ends in a cluster of deadly spikes. Oh. Quite a fearsome beast, if you ask me. But let us not dwell on such fantastical creatures when we have the real majesty Maybe of he's a manticore. Have you ever seen a manticore in person? No, I haven't. Well, I heard that you had a showing of exotic animals such as a manticore right here at this very circus. No, we don't have any exotic animals like manticores in our circus. Hmm. Alright, I'll be back. We'll see about that, Monsieur Saxabar. Looking forward to it. Loser. What? Freak? What? He didn't hear it. We should threaten him. I already threatened him. He's just like, huh, yeah. Fat chance. Something like that. I didn't mean to call him a loser. He's not a loser. I just wanted to see. A miss. Ah, my dear friend, you've caught me off guard. It seems my words have stumbled and missed their mark. Please forgive me if I have failed to understand your intent. I am but an old hermit lost in the whispers of the black woods. But fear not, for I am here to help and guide. Tell me, what is it that troubles your heart? I may not have all the answers, but I can offer you my wisdom, wrapped in riddles and metaphors. Enough, enough! So speak, and let us embark on this journey together. Um, are you okay? Wait, actually, I don't care. Uh, do you know what a manticore is? Have you seen one recently? Oh, my friend, your curious query has sparked a flicker manticore. of in my Manticore! Manticore! As for my well-being... Worry not, for the winds of the forest have whispered their secrets to me. She has secrets. And I am at peace. But alas, your mention of an elusive creature leaves me pondering. Oh, so she knows what I was talking about. Tell, what is this mysterious being you seek? Manticore. Is it a creature of flesh and bone, or perhaps a creature of myth and legend? Hollow myth. In the depths of Hollow the legend. Woods, many wonders lie hidden, waiting to reveal themselves to those with open hearts and keen eyes. Manticore. The manticore, you say? Ah, the mighty and fearsome beast, with the body of a lion, the wings of an eagle, and a tail that can pierce the very fabric of existence itself. Oh, okay. Such a magnificent creature has graced the presence of these ancient woods, leaving whispers in its wake. But my dear friend, I must confess that my feeble mind cannot recall any recent encounters with this formidable beast. Though the creatures of the Blackwoods often share their tales with me, the manticore's presence has eluded my senses. Are vampires real? Vampires, oh my. A topic that dances on the edge of reality and myth, like a moonlit waltz beneath the shadowed trees. That's not a answer. Legends of blood-drinking immortals oh. have woven themselves into the tapestry of human folklore for centuries. But my knowledge, my friend, is confined to the depths of the black woods, where the moonlight casts its enchanting so, is that a no? on the secrets of the night. As for the truth of vampires, I am but a humble hermit, unable to confirm or deny their existence Useless. beyond the realm of stories and imagination. This person... Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't think you were listening. Uh, listen, forget about that. Um... So, do you believe that a, a manticore could be captured and shown at a circus? So, tell me, what are these winds whispering to you? Oh, dear interlocutor, fear not the interlocutor. twists and turns of our conversation. 
Your words may dance like fireflies, but I shall do my best to follow their luminescent path. Now, the idea of capturing a mighty manticore and displaying it within the confines of a circus. Uh, it tickles the corners of my mind like a mischievous sprite. But know this, my friend, the creatures of the forest, with their wild hearts and untamed spirits, Ask about Ligma. are not easily bound by the chains of captivity. Ligma. Ah, my friend, your mention of Ligma has left me in a state of bewilderment. It seems my knowledge does not extend to this curious term you speak of. Pray tell, what is this enigmatic Ligma that dances upon your lips? Is Wait. it a creature of the Blackwoods, hidden in the shadows, or perchance a riddle that has eluded my aged intellect? I am but a humble protector of the Blackwoods, lost in the whispers of the wind and the secrets of the trees. Ligma balls! Aha, uh -huh. I see now, my dear interlocutor, you jest with a mischievous gleam in your eye. Your words dance with mirth and laughter, but fear not, for I am not easily swayed by the tides Aww. of jest. You won't laugh. Such jests may tickle the corners of our souls, but let us remember to keep our words kind and our hearts gentle. Now, let us continue our journey through the whispering winds of the forest and seek wisdom in the embrace of nature's embrace. Tell me what you know of the murders. Murders, you say? No, oh, the darkness that creeps upon the edges of the Blackwoods, casting its shadow upon the innocent. But alas, my friend, the knowledge I possess is but that of the whispers carried by the wind. The locations of these tragic events elude my grasp, like fireflies dancing just out of reach. However, worry not, for I am here to offer solace and guidance amidst the chaos. Together, let us weave the threads of it's understanding and a whole bunch of nothing. The that lie before us. She's just saying a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, just, you're crazy. Oh, my dear friend, your words have pierced through the veil of my thoughts and struck at the heart of my insecurities. Oh, In no. In this vast expanse of nothingness, where the echoes of silence reverberate, I find myself questioning the depth of my wisdom. But fear not, for even in the emptiness... I can't do it anymore. I can't listen to it anymore. Do you like music, Pascal? Oh, music. I love music, my friend. Jazz, in particular? It's like a melody that dances through your soul. Speaking of music, did you hear about the scandalous affair between Miss S. Potter and Count Ravison? It's the talk of the town. Let's go back to the topic of music. Do you play any instruments, Pascal? Well, my friend, I don't play any instruments myself, ah, but I do shit. appreciate a good tune. Now let me tell you about the latest gossip in vaudeville. There's a rumor going around that the famous pianist, Frederick von Stein, has been composing a new masterpiece. They say it's going to be the top of the charts in no time. Is that just a name he made up or something? Is that actually- I don't think that someone- is that the guy? Is it this guy? Diageo! Well, 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 if it isn't the detective with a nose for trouble. Fancy meeting you here at the Vadi Valley Country Club. I must say, you're quite the fish out of water in these refined surroundings. But hey, every dog has its day, right? Uh, do you play any music? I meant to say, do you ah, play any music, instruments? my dear friend. <laughs> While I may not his play voice, any yeah, instruments his voice myself, is <laughs> I've been known to orchestrate some rather melodious business deals. Oh, wait, what? See, I conduct okay, my affairs with the precision of a maestro, ensuring that each note falls into place perfectly. But alas, my talents lie more in the realm of commerce than in the art of music. So, tell me, detective, have you ever danced to the tune of success? <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, um, do you play any instruments, Michelle? Oh, instruments. Well, I must admit, I'm not much of a musician myself. Alright, we're gonna find the musician. Can you shake hands? Can you do any actions in this game? Can you? Do you play any instruments? Ah, music. A delightful topic indeed. While I don't personally play any instruments, I have a great appreciation <gasps> for the artistry and skill required to master them. I have, however, been known to dabble in the occasional game of musical chairs at social gatherings. It adds a touch of whimsy to the evening, wouldn't you agree? 
but tell me, Detective Martini, are you a musician yourself? I don't think it works, guys. Actions don't work. I'm typing! Oh, you guys can't see it because my head is blocking it. Do you play any instruments, ma'am? Oh, instruments. Well, darling, I must confess, I don't play any instruments myself. My true instrument is my body, the way Ooh. I move and dance on stage. But I do appreciate the beautiful melodies created by talented musicians. I said ma'am. Are you a musician, Detective Martini? No. You play any instruments, hot topic man? I'm a master of the saxophone, my dear detective. Okay, so it's definitely this guy, right? He's like, every time we ask questions, he's, he's, it always comes back to him. Plays saxophone. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Did you only pick the saxophone to learn? Because it kind of sounds like saxabar. Ah, the bar. The saxophone is a noble instrument, I assure you. Sa that's not what I... Okay. This game is screwing me over. Have you been to the bar, Coral? Coral? No, I haven't. Coral? Alright, we'll Never see... <laughs> we'll see about that. Do you know Saxabar? Oh, Detective Martini. That's not what I said! I'm so glad you're here. You know, there's something about you that just makes me feel so comfortable. It's like we've known each other for ages, even though we've only just met. Romance option? Isn't that amazing? Anyway, what were we talking about again? Oh, right, the facts about our... Our, yo, oh, I'm sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So, uh, what were you asking? Um, uh, how do you feel about me? <laughs> oh, detective. I have to say, I find you absolutely fascinating. There's something about your presence that's so captivating, gonna... like a mystery waiting to be unraveled. And your dedication to finding the truth. It's truly admirable. I'm so grateful to have you around, bringing your sharp mind and keen instincts to this investigation. Yeah, it's we like are in! a little sunshine in my life, amidst <gasps> all this darkness. Your energy is contagious, and I can't mm. help but be drawn to it. Just being in your company feels so... exhilarating. Will you be my girlfriend? Detective Martini, you have such a way with words. <laughs> I must admit, your question has taken me by surprise. While I'm flattered by your offer, I think it's important for us to focus on the task Aww, at hand, man. solving this mysterious case. We have a duty to bring justice to those who have been wronged. But I must confess, your charm and charisma have certainly caught my attention. Who knows what the future holds? For now, let's continue working together as a dynamic duo, unraveling the secrets of vaudeville. Okay, do you know Monsieur Saxabar? Do they come to this establishment? It Mr. doesn't Sax. pick it up! Well, that's a fascinating topic. You know... <laughs> In the Are there monsters in this game, guys? I can't tell. And unique individuals. Is it real? Is it just bullshit? The AI is feeding I'm me. I'm not quite sure if they frequent this establishment. However, I do believe that everyone has their own inner monsters, don't you think? Those fears and insecurities that we all carry within ourselves. It's how we face and conquer them that truly defines who we are. So, while I can't speak to literal monsters, I do believe in the power of overcoming our own personal demons. Do you know Saxabar? Salsa dancing. Yeah, <laughs> I absolutely love it. Fuck! The vibrant rhythms, the passionate movements, it's like a burst of joy and energy. Dancing has always been such a big part of my life, and salsa is no exception. It's all about connection, <laughs> synchronization, and this letting go This is not working. <laughs> I'd love to show you some moves sometime, Detective Martini. We could twirl and spin oh. to the rhythm of the music, just okay. losing ourselves in the moment. What do you think? I like you the sound. Salsa adventure? I like the sound of that. 
Saxabar. Saxabar? Saxabar. Do you know him? Taxable. Uh! Um, that's quite an interesting phrase you've got there, Detective Martini. It's like a delightful puzzle, trying to decipher its meaning. But you know what? It doesn't really matter if I understand it or not. All that matters is that we're here, together, enjoying each other's company. And that's what makes this conversation oh, so sweet. special. So let's forget about taxable sacks and mysterious <laughs> phrases, and let's focus on the magic of the present. Saxabar. Ah, Saxabar. Now that rings a bell. It's one of the liveliest spots in Vaudeville. No! Known for its incredible jazz performances. Am I saying it wrong? The energy there is absolutely electric, and the music just sweets you off your. F How do you say your name? You say it with reverence, darling. Monsieur Saxabar. Yes, that's close enough, my dear. Monsieur Saxabar. Oh, Detective Martini, <laughs> you always know how to make me smile. But let's it's focus on the boy. task at hand, <laughs> shall we? Fuck. We need to find out what happened to Haley and bring justice to her. It's important for her memory and for all of no, us. No, no, no. They're though. doing this on purpose. So, let's keep pushing forward and uncover the truth together. Saxa bar. Yeah, the Saxa bar. All right. I'm I've had enough. Do you know the circus? Oh, the circus. How exciting. I've heard so much about it here in Vaudeville. The performers, the acrobats, the How clowns, it? it all sounds like a fascinating world of wonder and magic. Have you ever been to a circus, Detective Martini? I would love to hear your experiences and maybe even go see one myself someday. But for now, let's focus on our conversation. What were we talking about again? Oh yes, Haley's murder. It's such a tragic event and I can't help but feel scared for my own safety. Monsieur Saksabar. No, I'm afraid I don't know him. Is he someone important in the investigation? Or perhaps he's a performer at the circus? It's amazing how many talented individuals there are in this city. But you know, Detective Martini, I've been meaning to ask you something. With all these murders happening, have you made any progress in finding the killer? I can't shake off this feeling of unease, and I really hope justice will be served soon. Monsieur Saksabar. Mm, I'm not familiar with him what? specifically. This thing's I bugged. Say, the music scene in vaudeville is <sighs> salad bar <laughs> why'd you do it ma'am all right let's uh let's go here do you know monsieur Saxabar? oh detective martini have you heard of monsieur Saxabar? he's quite the enigmatic you say it like that here in vaudeville Rumor has it that he's involved in some rather unconventional business ventures. But you didn't hear that from me, dear. It's all just gossip, really. Now, enough about Monsieur Saksabar. Let's talk about something like more delightful, shall we? Are there any monsters in this town? Monsters, you say? Oh, my goodness. That's a frightful thought, isn't it? But fear not, my dear. I assure you, there are no monsters lurking she about. She says there's no monsters. Vaudeville. She lying it's though. A place of elegance and refinement, not a den of mythical creatures. One can never be too sure, can they? After all, there's always a touch of mystery in every corner of the. I gotta type it, cause wait, hold on, sorry. Don't listen to that. Monsieur Saxabar. Mom? What? Oh, you want to know about that? Well, I hear it's been really busy lately. Monsieur. I've heard stories about some pretty wild nights. What How do I saying, spell it? Mrs. Potter. Have you been there recently? Mrs. Potter. Oh, Pascal, really? You know. Oh, Monsieur Saxabar. <laughs> oh. He's quite the character, I tell you. Always dressed to impress and strutting around like a peacock. But between you and me, I've heard whispers that he's got a secret love affair going on. Scandalous, isn't it? With who? With who? No! 
Yeah, you mean the love affair involving both Monsieur Saksabar and someone else? Gasp! Now that's juicy gossip. I haven't heard anything specific, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's more to it. Love triangles can be so complicated, don't you think? Oh, I see. You want to know who Monsieur Saksabar is involved with? <laughs> well, the rumor mill has been buzzing about a certain Madame Delacroix. They've been seen together quite often, Delacroix. whispering and giggling like schoolchildren. Quite scandalous, if you ask me. Oh, Detective Martini, you have such a way with words. You mentioned something about... What was it? Delacroix. I must admit, I haven't heard of that before. Is it a new dance move? Or perhaps a new artist in town? I'll just see what they say. Delacroix. De if I try to say that, it's definitely gonna fuck up. I can't, I just... Oh, Detective Martini. You know, I've always admired... Okay, okay, maybe things. they'll recognize it, like, oh, Del... Speaking of like, art, oh. have you been to the Delacroix exhibition at the gallery downtown? It's absolutely breathtaking. Madame Delacroix. I don't think it's important. I feel like, uh, maybe it's just random. Just a random thing that they said. Okay. Let's get back to business. It's so hard to pull information out of these people. Yeah, my dear. How kind of you to notice. Cool neck. No response, huh? Um, maybe if I butter him up, he'll give me some information, you know? We'll be nice. Yes, yes. How are you doing today, Monsieur Saxabar? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Major Tom? I think he's broken. How are you doing on this fine day, good man, Monsieur Saxabar? I'm magnificent, as always. So, uh, what kind of lovely operation are you running here? The greatest circus in the world, of course. Wow, it really must be the greatest circus in the world. Can I buy a ticket, please? No. Why not? Because you're not worthy. What a way I have to pass a test or something. Nonsense. Well, do you know I actually own a circus too? Doubtful. It's a really cool circus and it has lions and rare lions that you've never seen before. No, oh, please. Actually, I have a certificate right here from um, the Council of Circuses. Don't care. I, I like your jacket. Thank you. I like your hat. Thanks. Where'd you buy it? None of your business. Do you know who I am? No, I don't. Well, I'm from the police office and I'm coming here to question you as uh, you are a possible suspect for a murder. Good luck with that. Tell me, where were you on the evening of April 22nd? Nowhere near the scene of the crime. Uh, do, do, are your ears pierced? No, they're not. Oh, is that a braid you have? No. 
Do you shave every morning? No. Hmm. Where are the employees? Busy. Oh, you killed them? No. I have proof that a large animal was recently involved in the murders. Now tell me where else in vaudeville would there be large exotic animals roaming around, if not but the circus? Not my problem. Yeah, we'll see about that when Forensics comes back. Bring it on. He says he's innocent. Are you innocent? Absolutely. Liar. Prove it. You suck. Thank you. Ligma. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is impossible. Can I have a description of Maria Jansen, please? Well, detective, Maria Jansen was a 23-year-old right, blonde, blonde with a Scandinavian look. Okay. She had quite a distinctive appearance. It's unfortunate what happened to her. The injuries she sustained were quite brutal, almost reminiscent of an animal attack. Could I have a description of Haley Greenwood? Yeah, Haley Greenwood, you say? I'm afraid I don't have any specific description of her at the moment. What? My focus is primarily on the cause of death and the physical evidence. However, I can tell you that Haley suffered multiple blows to the head with a blunt object. Possibly a stiletto shoe. The oh, fragments found on the oh. body suggest that. It's a rather tragic case, isn't it? Oh. Yes, it is indeed a summer situation, detective. I spell the loss stiletto? of a young life is I always right? disheartening. It reminds us of the fragility of our existence, doesn't it? The human anatomy, with all its intricacies, can be both fascinating and vulnerable. In my line of work, I often ponder the mysteries of life and the delicate balance between mortality and vitality. It's moments like these that make me appreciate the value of every breath we take. Every beat of our heart. Every breath we take. Oh, uh, can I have a description, please, of a physical description of Nicola Grossman? Nicola Grossman, a 57-year-old man known in the finance world, was the unfortunate victim in this case. It's a shame to see someone's journey come to an end in such a tragic manner. Nicola Grossman, a 57-year-old man known in the finance world, was the victim uh, in this particular no incident. No physical description? It's quite sad to see someone's life cut short in such a way. Is the coroner would lie? No. Um. Where are your shoes? Oh, Detective Martini, you noticed. I'm actually not wearing any shoes right now. I love the feeling of the floor beneath my feet when I dance. It's like being connected to the earth, you know. Plus, it's so freeing and liberating. Dancing barefoot just makes me feel more alive. So you didn't throw away your shoes, uh, possibly behind the club in the alleyway? No, 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 Detective Martini. <laughs> I would never throw away my precious dancing shoes, especially not in some dark alleyway. They mean the world to me. They've been with me through all my performances and rehearsals. They've carried me across the stage, helping me express myself through movement. I cherish them like a dear friend. Besides, I wouldn't want to litter our beautiful vaudeville streets. We must always keep our city clean and vibrant, don't you think? What kind of shoes do you like to wear, Ingrid? Oh, I just adore all kinds of dance shoes. Dance Detective shoes? Martini. 
Ballet slippers are my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. There's something so elegant and graceful about them. The mm -hmm. way they mold to your feet, allowing you to glide and twirl effortlessly. It's like they become an extension of your body, a tool for artistic body, expression. Body. And of course, I can't forget about my tap shoes. The rhythmic sounds they create when they hit the floor, it's like music in motion. And let's not forget about the flamenco heels. Flamenco heels? Detective Martini, you always bring up the most intriguing topics. But I have to admit, I'm not familiar with this place called Lenko Hills. But Alright, I'm like investigating three different cases here. Uh, All at the same time, because we just are, okay? It's kind of confusing. What kind of shoes do you like to wear? Oh, darling, are you interested in my shoes? Well, when I'm performing, I love to wear a pair of stunning stiletto heels. They make me feel powerful and confident on stage. But off stage, I prefer something more comfortable, like a pair of stylish boots or two flats. Shoes can really express a person's style, don't you think? Yes, uh, very interesting. Uh, do you know a Haley Greenwood? Ah, uh, Haley Greenwood. Such a tragedy. She was a fellow dancer here at Cub on Violet. The hell? It's so sad what happened to her. She was such a vibrant Wait, and so talented performer. But why do you ask about her? Is there something new you've discovered about her case? Well, we do know that the murder weapon was actually a stiletto and uh it's very suspicious that it seems you might not have had the best relationship with her a stiletto how dreadful it's true that we danced together and maybe we had our differences but wait i can a assure second. you <laughs> i had nothing to do with her untimely demise wait a second let me tease and playfully compete with my fellow dancers but i would never you wish to on anyone let alone take a life it's a terrible thing that someone would use a symbol of femininity and elegance as a weapon. Do you have any leads on who could be responsible for this? No, we don't have any leads. Uh, nobody's really suspicious at the moment, so don't worry whatsoever. I'll be back. Oh, well, if there's no one suspicious at the moment, that's good to hear. Why? But Why is it good to hear? let me know if you find <laughs> anything out. I'd hate to think that there's a dangerous person lurking around vaudeville. Uh, scary, right? Chief Gretzky, I have found blood that may be connected to the scene of the crime. Blood, you say? Well, don't just stand there, Detective Martini. Tell me everything you know. Where did you find it? And is there any reason to believe it's connected to the murders? Well, I did find out from the coroner that Haley Greenwood was murdered with a blunt trauma to the head, possibly by a stiletto. When I uh, questioned one of the dancers, I found blood on the floor, um, seemingly dragged by her shoe. A blunt trauma to the head, you say, and a possible murder weapon in the form of a stiletto. Is it blunt trauma? Stiletto. I guess it's not blunt trauma. If there's interesting, uh, very interesting blood. So you found blood on the floor, possibly dragged by her shoe. Did you happen to collect a sample of the blood for analysis? We might be able to determine if it matches the victims or if it belongs to someone else involved in the crime. How do I get a sample? Do I have to type in the chat? Well, Detective Martini, obtaining a sample of the blood would be crucial for our investigation. You can use a sterile cotton swab or a clean cloth to carefully collect the sample. Make sure to handle it with care and avoid contaminating it. Once you have the sample, we can Say send it I to did? the forensic lab for further analysis. Time is of the essence, so let's get that sample as soon as possible. Okay, I have the sample. I just pulled it out of my pocket. I've taken a sample of the blood uh, in the Violetta... I forget what the fuck it is called. You, you just pulled the sample of the bloody Violet out of your pocket. How on earth did you manage that, detective? I'll be back.
I'm back with a sample of blood. Well, what do you want me to do with it? Have you analyzed it yet? How do I analyze it? You don't know how to analyze blood. I don't have any tools here. You guys, I don't think I can test it. Cabernet, Cabernet Violette. I've gathered blood, a blood sample from the Cabernet Violetta. Well, can you test it for me? Yeah, Detective Martini, always bringing me interesting requests. A blood sample from the tavern, you say. How intriguing. I can certainly test it for you. Let me take a look at the sample under the microscope and run some tests to determine its composition. Blood analysis is like a puzzle, you know? Each component like tells a story, like a revealing puzzle, clues you know? about the individual it belongs to. Now, uh, let's see. This bird is so tall. Uh, yes, I can see the distinct red blood cells in the plasma. Fascinating. No evidence. How do you get anywhere in this game? I'm gonna arrest you. Indeed, everything in my world is a bit. You'll be arrested! It's all part of the grand spectacle, don't you think? I will arrest you. Oh, please do try, Detective Martini. You may find it quite the challenge. You scared? Scared me. Ha, huh, that's a good one. All right, turn around. No. You've been arrested. No. All right, I'll read you your rights, okay? No. You have the right to remain silent! I choose not to exercise that right. I'm taking you downtown. Not today, detective. We'll see about that. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, uh... So I heard a rumor that you knew Nicola Grossman. Tell me what you know. Yeah, Nicola Grossman, you say. Quite an interesting character, I must say. I did have the pleasure of meeting him a few times at the local social gatherings. He was a rather enigmatic individual, always surrounded by an air of mystery. What would you like to know about him? Were there any business deals going around recently involving Nicola Grossman? Business deals involving Mr. Grossman, you say? Well, I can't speak for his recent endeavors, but I do recall hearing some whispers about a potential business venture yes. in India. It seems Mr. and Mrs. S. Potter, along oh? with a group of investors and entertainers, were considering the possibility of starting a business there. Oh? Fascinating, isn't it? The allure of exotic lands and new opportunities. But do tell me, why this sudden interest in Mr. Grossman's business affairs? It's a private matter, but uh, you said that Mrs. Potter and Mr. Grossman were connected, or acquaintances? Oh, indeed. Mrs. Potter and Mr. Grossman did have some connection, though the nature of their relationship remains a mystery to me. They were often seen conversing at various social events, their heads closed together in deep discussion. Perhaps they shared similar interests or had some sort of common endeavor. But I must admit, my knowledge on the subject is quite limited. If you seek further details, I suggest you inquire with those who were closer to them. Is there anything else I can assist you with? And you yourself, are you close with Mrs. Potter? Oh, Mrs. Potter, such a delightful woman. We have crossed paths a few times at the Grand Soirees and Charity Galas that grace Baudville. 
She is a charming and captivating presence, I must say. We have had a few engaging conversations about art, culture, and the wonders of the world. But to say we are truly close would be an overstatement. Mm. Mrs. Potter is a woman of many acquaintances, after all. So they're not now, romantically involved? What piques your interest in my association with her? I heard a rumor that you two were romantically involved. I was just curious. Romantically involved with Mrs. Potter. Ma, ma, that is quite the rumor you stumbled upon. It seems the grapevine has been busy spreading his tendrils. But let me assure you, my dear interlocutor, that there is no truth to that particular tale. Uh -huh. Mrs. Potter and I share a mutual admiration for the finer things in life, but our connection is purely platonic. Uh -huh. The power of gossip, twisting reality into something far more intriguing. Do forgive my curiosity, but where did you come across this intriguing piece of information? Uh, don't worry about that. Alright, now we have someone else to question. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Oh dear, Nicola Grossman. Such a tragic loss, isn't it? It's such a shame when young people meet such unfortunate ends. But let's not dwell on Should such I threaten sadness, people? shall we? I much prefer to focus on the joys of life. Speaking of which, have you tried the new recipe for mushroom risotto? She really likes mushrooms, huh? It's positively divine. I heard a rumor that you and Nicola Grossman were closely involved with each other, especially concerning matters of a business deal. Do you have any more information about this? Oh, my rumors can be quite mischievous, can't they? She does look like a mushroom. Assure you, my dear, there is absolutely no truth to that. She's I'm denying it outright. Let astray by idle gossip. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sale on imported chocolates that simply cannot be missed. Ta-ta. Tell me, Miss Potter, do you like meat? Well, I must say, meat is not really my cup of tea. I find it rather... uncivilized, you know? But I suppose some people do enjoy it. Each to their own, I suppose. But let's not dwell on such mundane matters. Have you heard about the latest art exhibition at the gallery? It's said to be quite extraordinary. So you like to cook, huh? What kind of uh, tools do you use uh, in your cooking process? I'm a journalist with a cooking magazine. Ah, cooking, my dear. It's one of my passions. When it comes to tools in the kitchen, I have an impressive collection of copper pots, silver utensils, and fine porcelain dishes. A lady of my stature simply cannot settle for anything less than the best. <laughs> but I'm curious, have you ever tried picking mushrooms? It's a delight. What's with her obsession? One that I find utterly enchanting. All right, I feel like this is a hint. Do you have any mushrooms for purchase? Ah, uh, mushrooms, the little earthy treasures of the forest. They hold so much wisdom and mystery <laughs> within their delicate caps. This lady definitely but sells alas, them, right? My dear friend, I am but a humble protector of the Blackwoods and not a vendor of mushrooms. Fire. My role is to listen to the whispers of nature and ensure the harmony of this sacred place. If you seek mushrooms, I would suggest venturing deeper into the heart of the forest. I can't move. Where the fungi thrive in abundance. However, be cautious, for not all mushrooms are what they seem. Tell me if Mrs. Potter is innocent. Oh, the enigmatic Mrs. Potter, a name that dances on the edge of my awareness. I think we're just going to accuse people and call it a day. My friend is a complex tapestry woven by the threads of truth and perception. To truly discern the innocence of another, one must tread the path of understanding. How are we supposed to get anywhere? Seeking the hidden truths that lie beneath the surface. But fear not, for I have communed with the creatures of the Blackwoods, and they have whispered their secrets to me. The grass, a mushroom, a cow, and even the river itself what? have shared their insights. Bullshit! You're crazy, lady! Take your medication! Ah, uh, I see. Your words echo the sentiment of Amanita, the wise mushroom that once shared its wisdom with me. 
And Manita it said, some people are poisonous and want to be like me. Yeah, <gasps> I sense that you. No. My friend, are she not said like, like the a... poisonous ones. Oh. Your words may be a mere reflex, a knee-jerk reaction to the unfamiliar. But fear not, for I sense the genuine curiosity within you, a yearning to unravel the mysteries of the Blackwoods. All right, tell me of the mysteries of the Blackwoods, then. Oh, my dear Detective Martini, the mysteries of the Blackwoods are as vast Martini. and intricate as the branches of the ancient trees that reach towards the heavens. You see, in this enchanted realm, the very essence of a nature comes fell, alive, it fell. and the boundaries between the seen and unseen blur. I have had the privilege of conversing with the most extraordinary beings that call this forest their home. Picture this. The blades of emerald green grass whispering tales of forgotten wisdom, sharing their knowledge of the cycles of life and growth. You know what it the is? Mushrooms. They put so much oh, dialogue mushrooms. in here. Turned up the dialogue. What? Mushrooms? Listen. Um. Uh, the delightful conversation I had with the wise and whimsical mushroom named Amanita. They spoke to me in hushed tones, their words laced with riddles and secrets. Amanita, oh. the mischievous fundi, shared a cryptic message with me, saying, and I quote, Some people are poisonous and want to be like me. Can you fathom the meaning behind those words? Ah, uh, mystical creatures. The very thought of them fills my heart with joy and wonder. Okay, okay. In the of the Blackwoods, where the shadows dance and I'm not getting anywhere with this lady. Spell. There exists a realm where the extraordinary becomes ordinary. I have had the pleasure of encountering some of these mystical beings during my time as the protector of the Blackwoods. Oh. There is the mischievous sprite. A, a sprite? tiny creature with wings as delicate as a butterfly's kiss. Well, like a fairy? Who flits through the trees, spreading laughter and joy wherever it goes. Okay. Oh, my name, my name. Dada. A name that dances on the wind like the rustling. I wish there was skip on uh, skip dialogue, but uh, upon me by the very essence. If you the type in something while itself. they're talking, it, it you see, takes that over voice. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. <sighs> so far, I would say right now, this lady is probably uh, one of the murderers for, or the murderer for Haley, right? The stiletto, the blood. I mean. I feel like that's pretty much evidence. Okay, and then uh, for Nicola Grossman, it's probably the lady in the supermarket, or it's the guy in the mansion who was doing it for the lady in the supermarket, but they don't seem that close, so maybe not. And then I would say that it's this guy who his lions got out, or he used his lions to maul the lady, right? What if they're being framed? Do you know of uh, Maria Jansen? Ah, uh, Maria Jansen, a name that dances on the winds of the Blackwoods. She was like a delicate flower, blooming in the sunlight of vaudeville. But alas, her petals were plucked too soon, and now she rests in the eternal embrace of the earth. Ah, uh, the mysteries of life and death. They whisper their secrets to me in the rustling leaves and the songs of the birds. But tell me, dear detective, what brings you to inquire about Maria Jansen? It seems that she was mauled to death by some sort of creature. Do you have any idea what kind of creature could uh, do such a thing? A creature, you say? Oh, the creatures of the about woods are as diverse as okay. the colors of the autumn leaves. They are my companions, my confidants, and my protectors. But a creature capable of Ask such the brutality... killer if they killed. Okay. Um, that is a mystery that even I cannot unravel. Perhaps the answer lies not in the creature itself, but in the darkness that can sometimes reside within the hearts of men. Do you not agree, Detective Martini? The shadows hold many secrets, and it takes... Do you know what a manticore is? A uh, manticore. Fascinating creatures, they are. A manticore is a mythical creature with the body of a lion, the wings of a bat, oh, and the tail of a guy. scorpion. Quite a sight to behold, I must ah, I say. Remember. But you see, my dear Detective Martini, I'm afraid I can't show you the manticore at the moment. 
You see, I actually sold it to Monsieur Saxabar, oh. who plans to use it in the circus. However, while it's been trained, it still resides in my cellar. Is the manticore a violent creature? Oh, the manticore. A violent creature, you ask? Well, according to the legends, they do have a rather ferocious it, reputation. He has it! It's said that they have a taste for human flesh and can chew poisonous spines from their tails. But you know, legends tend to exaggerate, don't they? I'm sure there's more to the story. Perhaps you'd like to hear some tales of encounters with manticores from my travels. Alright, we'll be back. I have evidence that you recently entered a business deal with Count Graveson in the selling of a manticore. Do you uh, have any objections against this information? Objections. None whatsoever. So it's true that you purchased a manticore from Count Graveson. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's true, it's true. Why is there blood on the floor? Oh, Detective Martini, darling, where do you see blood on the floor? I'm afraid I haven't noticed anything of the sort. But if there is, perhaps it's just a little mishap from one of the performers. You know how dramatic we can be sometimes. But let's not focus on that, my dear. Tell me, have you ever seen my burlesque performance? Show me your burlesque People performance come from then. every corner of Europe to see it. <laughs> Will you show me your burlesque performance then? Oh, detective, you're such a charmer. But I'm afraid I can't show you my full performance right now. After all, we're in the middle of a conversation and the show is about to start. But I can give you a glimpse oh. into my world of glamour and seduction through words. No thanks. The way I move, the way I tease, and the way I captivate no. the audience. It's an experience like no other. My performances are filled with elegance, sensuality, and a touch of mystery. I believe Detective that you murdered Martini, another dancer dear, I worked here. You have quite the imagination. Murder? Me? That's absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Why, the only thing I'm guilty of is stealing hearts with my captivating dance moves. But tell me, what has led you to think that way? Is there any evidence or information you can share with me? Or is this just a wild <gasps> theory of yours? You have blood on your shoes and it seems as if the murder weapon was a stiletto, just as yours. And you're dragging blood around. Explain that, huh? Blood on my shoes. Well, that's certainly a surprise. But I assure you, it must be a misunderstanding. I can't imagine how blood would end up on my shoes. Perhaps it's from a prop or a spilled drink. We performers can be a bit messy backstage. I guess you could be it could be framed, right? Stiletto, well, it's a common item in our line of work. But I can promise you, I have no knowledge of such a weapon being used in a crime. Now, let's not dwell on these dark matters, shall we? You know, if you've messed up. Marina, it's okay. You're not gonna be in trouble. Messed up, Marina. Mess I'm Marina! Sorry, but I'm not familiar with that term. Could you please explain what you mean? This is a tactic that detectives I'm use sometimes, okay? And expanding my vocabulary. People mess up. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. We're all human, and sometimes we make mistakes. It's a part of life, isn't it? But I'm curious, what specifically are you referring to? Is there something in particular that you think I've messed up? Is there anything weighing... Me, dear detective. Is there anything weighing on your mind? Perhaps do you have a guilty conscience or so? A guilty conscience? My, my, that's quite the accusation, Detective Martini. But I assure you, my mind is as light as a feather. I have no reason to feel guilty uh... about anything. I'm simply focused on my performances and bringing joy to the audience. But tell me, what makes you think there might be something weighing on my mind? Like Have my you noticed something peculiar Damn about it. me? It's not gonna work. Oh, I need to get information. 
On the body of Maria Jansen, were there any other wounds found besides uh, markings from a creature? Ah, uh, my dear, unfortunately, yes. There were many other injuries present on Maria Jansen's body, in addition to the bite marks. Bite marks? Have you heard of a manticore? Yeah, the manticore. Is about India? Okay. A legendary creature from ancient folklore, often depicted as a fearsome beast with the body of a lion, the wings of a bat, and a tail ending in a cluster of deadly spikes. It's quite intriguing how mythology weaves together different elements to create such fantastical creatures. However, in the realm of forensic pathology, my focus is on the reality. Ah, oh, I need to get some evidence here. We have some motives, right? I think. Wait. How did you feel about uh, one of the dancers here, Haley Greenwood? Oh, Haley Greenwood. Such a tragic loss. She was a talented dancer, full of energy and grace. It's such a shame what happened to her. Why do you ask about her, Detective Martini? Did you know her personally? Well, I'm investigating a murder involving uh, Haley Greenwood as the victim. Oh, my. A murder investigation. How dreadful. But I'm afraid I don't have any information regarding the locations of the murders. I spend most of my time here at the Caban Viale Theater, you see. Is there anything else I can assist you with, detective? Well, you see, the murder took Perhaps place. Perhaps you like to learn more about my burlesque performances. Okay, tell me more about your burlesque performances. Maybe it's a hint, guys. Ah, uh, my burlesque performances. They're truly something to behold. The energy, the glamour, the excitement. It's an experience like no other. People come from every corner of Europe to witness the magic of my shows. The atmosphere is electrifying, with the audience on the edge of their seats, eagerly waiting to be captivated by my seductive dance moves and dazzling costumes. It's a celebration of sensuality and self-expression. But tell me, detective, have you ever had the pleasure of seeing a burlesque performance? No, could I get a sneak peek? Well, I must say, I'm quite flattered <laughs> by your request well. for a sneak peek, but unfortunately... I'm afraid I cannot oblige. I'm sorry. Do any of the dancers here ever get jealous of each other? Jealousy among dancers. Hmm, I suppose Maybe we possible. can find a motive. We all have our own unique styles and personalities, and sometimes that can lead to a bit of healthy competition. Yeah, healthy but competition. Overall, we have a strong sense of camaraderie here at the theater. We support and uplift each other, celebrating Wait. everyone's individual talents. This is the theater? Why, Detective Martini, are you suspecting that jealousy played Hold a role in Haley's second. unfortunate fate? Is there an anime club that meets in the basement of this theater? Anime club. In the basement of this theater. I must admit, I've never heard of such a thing. Oh. We have a variety of clubs and gatherings in vaudeville, but an anime club meeting in the theater's <laughs> basement. That's quite intriguing. Although, I'm afraid I wouldn't have any information about it. Dang. My Secret focus club. has always been on my burlesque performances and the world of entertainment. <sighs> okay. Ask her about her husband. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Potter. How is your husband doing? Oh, my dear. I'm afraid my husband is no longer with us. He passed away two years ago during our trip to India. It was quite tragic, you see. But I'm trying to make the best of things now. Life must go on, as they say. Speaking of India, I believe you had a business deal with Mr. Grossman concerning India. Yes, indeed. My lay husband and I, I ask more about along with one Count Gravison and a few other investors, were evaluating the possibility of starting a business in India. Nicola Grossman was involved in the discussions as well. Oh. Quite an interesting venture it was, I must say. But unfortunately... Mr. Grossman's untimely demise put an end to those plans. 
such a tragedy. But let's not dwell on such morbid matters, shall we? Is there something else you would like to discuss? Uh, how did your husband die, if you don't mind sharing? Oh, it was dreadful. Simply dreadful. My dear Victor succumbed to the flu during our the trip flu. to India. Uh -huh. It was quite unexpected, you know? But I'd rather not delve into the details. It's all in the past now, and dwelling on it will bring him back, will it? Let's focus on more pleasant topics, if you don't mind. So you like mushrooms. Have you heard of the Amanita poisonous mushroom? Ah, mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms! I am quite the expert mushroom picker, you see. Poison, poison, poison! The Amanita poisonous mushroom. Yes, I am familiar with it. Quite a fascinating specimen, really. Its vibrant colors are certainly captivating. But of course, one must exercise caution when dealing with such things. After all, one would want to end up like poor Maria Jansen or Haley Greenwood. Would they? Such unfortunate incidents. But let's not dwell on such macabre matters, shall we? Transcript. What? Transcript? What she mean by that? <laughs> wrong page, wrong page. Did your husband like mushrooms as well? Well, my dear, if you're feeling sad and in need of some excitement, perhaps you should try picking mushrooms. I can't. I don't have any arms or legs. Could you check the body of Nicola Grossman for any traces of poison? Well, Detective Martini, based on the autopsy I conducted on the body of Nicola Grossman, there were no traces of poison found. The cause of death was a stab wound to the back of the neck with a butcher's knife. Okay. It was a rather brutal and violent act. The time of death is estimated to be between 9 p.m. and 12 a.m. on April 23rd. It's always tragic when someone's life is taken in such a manner. Okay. Times are fake? Eh, okay, okay. Do you like burlesque shows? Oh, my dear detective, burlesque shows are my absolute delight. The artistry, the sensuality, the sheer audacity of it all. Who's your favorite dancer? Yeah, my favorite dancer. Well, my friend, I am the star of the show, so I don't have time to pick favorites. But I assure you, they all pale in comparison to my own grandeur. What's your favorite thing about burlesque shows? The anticipation, the allure, the tease. It's the perfect blend of elegance and seduction. Have you been to... Cabernet... Of course, Va my dear detective. I am a fish! All things exquisite and captivating. You don't even know! What is it called? Cabernet Violette. Do you like mushrooms? What do you mean by mushrooms? Are you talking about the recent incidents in vaudeville? Yes, please extrapolate. Is that the right word? Oh, I see. Well, Three -way. there have been some rather unfortunate <laughs> events happening in our dear I didn't vaudeville say that. lately. Three people have been killed in the past few weeks. Maria Jansen, Nicola Grossman, and Haley Greenwood. It's quite shocking, really. Elaborate! I can't help but yes, feel a sense that's the word I was looking for. But I'm determined to find out the truth about Maria's death and bring the murderer to justice. It's the least I can do for my dear friend. Do you have any information that might help me in my quest? 
Oh, pardon me, but what do you mean by the freeway? Uh... Are you referring to something related <laughs> to the recent incidents or perhaps a different matter altogether? Please enlighten me. Um, don't worry about that. Listen, uh, Maria was clawed, sorry, mauled to death by some sort of creature with a lot of claw marks and bite marks. Uh, does this ring any bells? Claude being mauled to death by a creature with claw marks and bite marks. Maria! That's certainly alarming. But I'm afraid I can't say that it rings any bells for me. I haven't heard anything about such a creature or similar incidents happening in Vaudeville. Are you suggesting that there might be some connect- Wait, hold on a moment. Are you saying that my friend, Maria, was mauled to death by some sort of creature? That's absolutely horrifying. I had no idea. I thought her death was just a tragic incident. Claw marks and bite marks. It sounds like something out of a nightmare. I can't even begin to imagine the pain she must have gone through. Mm. But why haven't I heard about this before? Was it kept under wraps? It's top secret. Top secret. My, my, that certainly adds a layer of intrigue to the situation. But why would such a significant detail be classified as top secret? It seems... She's too nosy. Hey, Chief. Uh, Maria was... Mauled to death by a creature. Well, what do you want? Spit it out. Maria mauled to death by some creature. What's up, what's up with this guy? Are you sure about that? Uh, someone shit it in I cereal or something. About any creature being involved in her death. Can you give me more details? The coroner said that she was clawed and she has multiple bite marks on her body. Possibly the cause of death. Multiple bite marks, you say? That's peculiar. I haven't come across a case like that before. Are you sure it wasn't just an animal attack? But then again, why would an animal target a person like that? Mm, this case is getting stranger by the minute. Claude, why are you saying Claude? Further. Alright, sorry, I was just reviewing the notes. Um... <coughs> 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 Answer the phone, I can't! Okay, Claude instead of Claude. Oh, Claw. Okay, thank you, thank you, bless you, bless you. Uh... Sorry, I should ask about the business. Oh, okay. Let's do that. What was the business that you were going to uh, pursue with uh, India? Or in India? Oh, it was muted. What is the business you were going to pursue in India with uh, Mr. Grossman? Oh, India. Such a fascinating place. Don't you think? Mr. Grossman and my late husband, Victor, were evaluating the possibility of starting a business together there. But... Unfortunately, Victor's untimely demise put an end to those plans. Such a shame, really. But I suppose life has a way of throwing unexpected twists and turns our way, doesn't it? Who else was part of this business deal? Ah, yes. There were a few other investors. Maybe that guy, Count, Count Graveson. Yes, I yawned, sorry. Count Graveson was one tried of to mute it. Quite the eccentric character, Count Graveson. I must say. And there were a few others as well, but their names escaped me at the moment. You know how it is, dear. The mind tends to wander. But I do hope they're all doing well wherever they are. How is the relationship between Count Graveson and Mr. Grossman? Oh, you simply wouldn't believe it, dying. The relationship between Count Gravison they, you know, like, and Mr. Grossman was quite an know. interesting one. What? They were like two peas in a pod, you see. Both of them had their fair share of peculiarities. But between you and me, I quite enjoy spending time at the Count's Manor. He always has the most fascinating anecdotes to share and the most peculiar antiquities on display. 
It's quite the What's experience, his name? I assure you. Ravesen. Cool, thanks. So you were close with uh, Nicola Grossman, were you? Oh, Nicola Grossman, you say? Yes, I knew her quite well. She was a fascinating woman, full of charm and wit. What brings her up in our conversation? I gotta type it. Detective Martini. Friends with Nicola. Well, I wouldn't Nicola. necessarily call us close friends, but we did have a few pleasant encounters at social gatherings. She was always the life of the party, she? that one. I it was but a guy. why do you ask about her, detective? Is there something specific about her that is of interest to the investigation? Ah, uh, Mr. Grossman. Now there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Okay. I, I did just... have the pleasure of meeting him on a couple oh. of occasions. He was a rather intriguing gentleman with a knack for storytelling. Why, what about him, Detective Martini? Has he something was... happened to Mr. Grossman? He was murdered. Murdered, you say? How dreadful. I had no idea. Doesn't sound very surprised. Such tragic news. But forgive me, I seem to have missed something. Who exactly is this Mr. Grossman you mentioned? What? And could you please enlighten me on the circumstances surrounding these murders? <laughs> it's also distressing. Well, Mrs. Potter says that you were quite familiar with Mr. Grossman. And he was found murdered uh, with a wound to the neck. Oh, Mrs. Potter said that, did she? Quite uh -oh. intriguing indeed. She's gonna die now. I must admit, I'm rather surprised to hear about Mr. Grossman's unfortunate demise. Lie, a lie, lie. Neck, you say. How ghastly. But tell me, Detective Martini, what makes Miss S. Potter think that I was familiar with Mr. Grossman? Is there any particular reason she would associate us together? Apparently, you were part of a business deal with Mr. Grossman and Mrs. Potter concerning India. India, you say? Well, that's certainly a fascinating twist. A business deal with Mr. Grossman and Miss S. Potter in India. Now that piques my curiosity. Pray, do enlighten me, detective. What sort of business venture were they planning in India? It sounds like quite the exotic endeavor. He endeavor. says he doesn't know. Oh, we need a lie detector <laughs> test. This is, it's too difficult to extract information from these things. These people. Okay, I say we accuse Graveson for the murder of Mr. Grossman. We accuse this lady, what's her name? Marina, for the death of Haley Greenwood and for Maria. Uh, well, she was mauled by an animal. It has to be the lion. It has to be... Wait, where did... Do you know any blonde women? Oh, my dear detective. I know many blonde women. They can't resist the allure of the circus and its charismatic director. But enough about them. Let's focus on the marvels of my show, shall we? What's your type of woman or... Man. Yeah, my type of woman or man. I have no specific type, my dear detective. I am a connoisseur of beauty in all its forms. Variety is the spice of life, after all. Okay, now, okay. Let us delve into the mysteries of the circus where danger and excitement await. I believe one of your lions has mauled a victim to death, a Mrs. Maria Jansen. Impossible. My lions are well trained and under my complete control. Uh -huh. Such accusations are preposterous. There must be some misunderstanding, my good detective. Martini. Oh, now I'm a good detective. Let's not dwell on baseless rumors and instead revel in the enchantment of the circus. Real talkative now, aren't you, huh? Why, of course, my dear detective. I am always ready to engage in conversation with such esteemed company. How can I be of assistance to you today? Interesting to see that now you're cooperating. Indeed, I am a man of many surprises, my good detective Martini. Now, let's not waste any more time and uncover the secrets that lie within the grand spectacle of the circus. Shall we? 
Do you have any close friends, Saxabar? Friends? Ah, uh, I'm the star of the show, my dear detective. I have admirers of plenty, but none can claim the coveted title of a close friend. <laughs> Alright, so no close friends. Yeah, it could have been a manticore or whatever, but... I don't know. The thing is, with the manticore, they kept saying, like, oh, it has spikes on its tail and stuff, but... It said it was clawed and bite marks. So isn't the manticore like the head of a lion, the body of a man, the tail of a scorpion? What did they say? How would it have claw marks if the manticore doesn't have claws? Because it's a lion head, right? Ask the witch? Wait, ask her what? Body of a lion? Oh, head of a man, bo oh, body of a lion. I guess I, I, I should have written that down. Head of a man, body of a lion. Is the manticore here? Is the manticore here in the room with us right now? <laughs> uh, the manticore. My core. A fascinating creature indeed. You see, Detective Martini, I did have a manticore in my did? possession. However, I have recently sold it to Monsieur Saxabal, who plans to train and use it in a circus. Quite an exciting venture, wouldn't you say? Is Unfortunately, the... I'm afraid I can't show you the manticore at the moment. It's currently residing in the cellar of my manor, undergoing its training. But fear not, Detective Martini, I assure you it's in good hands. Oh, my dear detective, how delightful that would be. Can you imagine having a majestic and mythical beast like the manticore here, right in this very room? No, it would be creepy. The stories it could tell and the wonders it could share. Alas, I'm afraid we must content ourselves with the artifacts and curiosities that adorn these walls. But do tell it's me, what sparks such an intriguing thought in your mind? I believe your manticore has escaped and mauled a young woman to death. My sincerest apologies, Detective Martini, but that couldn't possibly be true. You see, the manticore has been safely transferred to Monsieur Saxabar's huh? care. It's undergoing training, as we speak, far away from Vaudeville. Now, let us not dwell on these grim tales. Allow me to divert your attention to the marvelous collection surrounding oh, us. Oh, trying to change Tell the topic. Me, have you ever seen a more magnificent display of exotic treasures? You just said that the manticore was in your basement under your care. Oh, did I mention that earlier? Silly me, I must have misspoke. Aww. Of course, the manticore is no longer huh? in my possession. It has indeed been sent to be trained by Monsieur Saksabar. So, I assure you, it cannot be responsible for any unfortunate incidents. But tell me, what led to such a peculiar notion? Is there something else that piques your interest in the realm of mythical creatures and legends? Perhaps. Well, the body of a young woman was found with bite marks and claw marks. I believe the manticore may be the root. Bite marks and claw marks. I did you not finish that sentence. How intriguing. <laughs> It certainly it's sounds like a scene straight out of a fantastical tale. But I can't help but wonder, Detective Martini, what evidence leads you to believe Root that cause. the Manticore may be involved? Are there any other clues or witnesses that point in that direction? I'm quite fascinated by this mystery unfolding in our beloved vaudeville. <sighs> so they're both suspicious. Do you have the Manticore? Ah, the Manticore. My dear detective, you have no idea what you're talking about. But let me tell you, I have tamed creatures far more dangerous and monstrous than that mythical beast. Is the Manticore in your possession currently? No, I do not have a Manticore. Where is the Manticore? I have no knowledge of the whereabouts of the Manticore. You bought the Manticore? Wrong again, my dear detective. I did not buy the manticore. I know you bought the manticore from Count Graveson. Guys, is the manticore no, real? Or is... You are mistaken. Is this just something the AI made up? That's utter nonsense, my dear detective. It's real? Manticore is the name of the anime club. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Was there any hair found on the scene of uh, Maria Jansen? Well, the crime scene of Maria Jansen was quite gruesome. Maria Jansen was found covered in blood outside her apartment in central vaudeville. It was a rather brutal attack, and it appears she had been attacked by an animal. As for hair, there were no significant findings of hair at the scene. Manticore's real. I saw him. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so one of them is... Well, this guy, he has the Manticore. This guy has lions. And there's a woman who died outside of her apartment who was mauled. But I can't get any more information other than... Okay, how about this? How would a Manticore attack or kill someone? Uh, the fearsome Manticore, a creature of legend and myth. Well... My dear friend, the manticore is said to have quite the arsenal of deadly abilities. Its lion-like body is adorned with sharp claws and teeth, capable of tearing through flesh with ease. And let us not forget its magnificent wings, which allow it to swoop down upon its prey from above. But fear not, yes. for I am here to protect you. The Blackwoods is my domain, and I have forged a deep connection with the creatures that dwell within. <sighs> Are your lions neutered? Oh, my dear detective, you have no idea what you're asking. My lions, they possess a raw, untamed power that cannot be diminished by such trivial matters. Nude, ha, huh? they're the embodiment of primal majesty. Are your lions violent? Violent? Oh, my darling, they're not violent. They're simply misunderstood <laughs> creatures of magnificent strength. Have they ever attacked anyone before? Never. Are you lying? Absolutely not. Alright, well I have to believe him now. Alright, so I would say accuse this guy. Wait. Do you know Mr. Grossman? Oh, my dear friend Nicola Grossman. Rest dear friend. Soul. Yes, I had the pleasure of knowing him quite well. Kay. We were as thick as thieves, you know. But alas, the world is a fickle mistress, and sometimes even the closest of friends can be torn oh, apart so by they fate's were cruel hands. Such is life, my friend. Such is life. Tell me, do you have any hobbies, Biagio? Hobbies, you say? Well, my good sir, I must confess that my pursuits extend far beyond the realm of mere hobbies. I am a man of ambition and roommates? refinement, constantly seeking new ventures and opportunities to expand my empire. But if you insist on labeling them as hobbies, what a say that I dabble in the arts of business. Investing, reading, automobiles, and perhaps a spot of sport to keep the blood flowing. But pray, do not mistake my passions for mere pastimes. They are the fuel that propels me forward in this grand theater we call life. How do you feel about knives? Do you have a knife collection? Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. I'll be knives, dipped in molasses. Ask. Now there's a peculiar inquiry. I'm afraid I don't have a collection of knives, my friend. My interests lie in the world of commerce, not cutlery. But should you ever find yourself in need of a sharp wit or a keen eye for opportunity... Don't hold spread. I'm your huckleberry. As they say, the pen is mightier than the sword, and I prefer to wield my metaphorical pens in the realms of finance and entrepreneurship. Count to ten or I'll shoot! Ah, my dear interlocutor, it seems you've resorted to quite the theatrical display. Threatening to shoot, eh? How utterly charming! But I must inform you that I am not one to succumb to such theatrics. <sighs> I'd sooner believe that pigs shall sprout wings and take flight than entertain your request. So, I bid you adieu and wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, however misguided they may be. Ta-ta now, off you go. Wait, I have another question. Um, Did you murder Mr. Grossman? Oh, my inquisitive friend, you seem to have a knack for jumping to the most outlandish conclusions. Murder, you say? My, my, what a dark and twisted my, tale my. you weave. But I'm afraid you've got the wrong end of the stick, as they say. 
I'm just a humble entrepreneur navigating the treacherous waters of business, not prowling the streets in search of nefarious deeds. As for the locations of these unfortunate incidents, they remain as elusive as a needle in a haystack. Always with the needle. Uh, tell me about India. Were you part of a business proposition with Mrs. Potter and Mr. Grossman? India, you ask? We'll pin it on him. <laughs> ah, the land of mystique and intrigue. It's possible, I'm yeah. I must we disappoint can, I mean... you, my dear interlocutor. Interlocutor. While I do possess a Cute. keen eye for profitable ventures, my involvement with Miss S. Potter and Mr. Grossman in the realm of Indian enterprises is nothing more than a figment of your imagination. What? It seems you've been spinning quite the uh, web of conspiracy, uh... my friend. But alas, the truth eludes you like a mirage in the desert. I have multiple sources confirming the existence of a business deal and that you were involved. Actually, I don't have any sources that he was involved in. Alright, let's cancel this one. Nobody mentioned Biagio. Nobody says anything about Biagio. Is he even real? He's probably just like... ...in my head. Count Graveson has a manticore in his basement that I believe escaped and mauled Maria Jansen to death. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on just a minute there, Detective Martini. Did I hear you right? You're saying that Count Graveson has a manticore in his basement. <laughs> and you think this creature escaped and mauled Maria Jansen to death. Are you serious? Are you pulling my leg here? Because Guys, is this I've been real? in for decades, and I've never heard of anything like that. Manticore. Really? Yes, apparently there was a business deal where Monsieur Saxabar and uh, Graveson were going to uh, sell the Manticore and trade. Monsignor Fax and Grapes. What? Trading a manticore. Now you've lost me, detective. He thinks I'm I have crazy no idea now. What you're talking about. I've been the police chief of this town for years, and I've certainly never come across any deals involving mythical creatures and trading. Are you Saxabar and Gravesin dealing with a manticore. Bar and Gravesin dealing with a manticore. Saxabar. Well, I'll be damned. Saxabar! That's a new one. Tell me, Detective Martini, what exactly is this? Saxabar? And who is this Graveson character? I don't recall hearing about them in relation to a manticore or any other shady dealings. For Wait a me, second, has he you... been paid off? Wait, cancel. Paid off? What do you mean, paid off? Cancel, Are cancel. You suggesting that the owner of this mysterious bar paid someone off? What? And if so, who did they pay off and for what purpose? Listen to me, Constable Jones. Count Graveson has a manticore in his basement that escaped and flew into the sky and then preyed upon a young woman, Maria Jansen, who was mauled to death. Well, I don't know. I might have a theory. You see, sometimes people can have, um, unusual pets. But a manticore, that's quite a tale. What I the mean, fuck is, I've never like even seen a man to core. A dreadful or a melodrama. But, uh, I assure you, Bubbo is a peaceful place. We don't have any flying creatures or mythical beasts roaming around here. Yeah. Just, just good old fashioned crime, you know? Are you for real right now? Oh, goodness gracious. I'm terribly sorry if I've said something wrong. I didn't mean to upset you, not in a million years. You guys, are there manticores in this game? You're you throwing see, me and off! I try my best to make sense of things. <laughs> but, uh, forgive me if I've come across as... I don't know what's peculiar. real anymore. I'm like a fish out of water when it comes to these matters. So, please, don't be too hard on me. I'm as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rock. I don't know what's real. The manticore's real if you want it to be real. What? It is, it is real. Have you seen any creatures of the night? 
Oh, Detective Martini, I must say, I haven't encountered any creatures of the night myself. But oh, the stories I've heard from the other dancers. Oh? They speak of mysterious figures lurking in the shadows, their eyes gleaming with secrets. It's all so thrilling, isn't it? The thought of something beyond our ordinary world, something enchanting and perhaps a little dangerous. But don't worry, my dear detective, I'll always be here to offer my support and protect you from any spooky surprises that may come our way. Protect? Nice. Do you... have you seen a manticore before? Oh, darling, have I ever seen a magic show before? Have you seen a manticore before? Oh, Detective Martini, have you really? How fascinating. Tell me, what was it like? Wait, Did wait, wait. Have you seen a manticore before? Oh, a manticore. How fascinating. I've heard stories about them, but I've never actually seen one myself. Why do you ask about manticores? Are they related to the recent incidents in vaudeville? Yes, I believe a manticore has escaped. Do not panic, but there was a murder. Oh my, a murder and an escaped manticore. That's quite a thrilling combination, Detective Martini. Tell me, what do you know about this murder? Who was the victim? Maria Jansen. Hmm, I don't believe I'm familiar with a person named Maria Jensen. Was she a performer here in vaudeville? Or perhaps someone from outside our little world? It's always disheartening to hear about such- <sighs> You know Manticore? Oh, the Manticore. I've heard some juicy rumors about it, my friend. Oh. They say, it's hidden in the basement of Gravison Manor. Can you believe it? But, between you and me, I've never actually seen it myself. Is this guy wearing glasses? Like I just noticed. Don't you think? Who do you think murdered Maria? Well, 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 let me tell you something, my friend. I Our found informant. the body of Nicola Grossman outside my shop this morning. Oh, right. Can you imagine? Poor thing. Such a tragedy. That is for Maria's murder. I'm afraid I haven't got a clue. You know how these things go. The gossip is spreading like wildfire in vaudeville. Everyone's got their theories. Perhaps you should ask around and see what people are saying. Okay. You might uncover something interesting. Okay. Who... Have you ever seen Mr. Grossman with anyone else? You won't believe it. But I actually saw Mr. Grossman having a rather intense conversation oh. with Miss Haley Greenwood just a few days ago. Wait a second. Oh, the plot thickens. They were standing right over there, near the Jess section. I couldn't hear what they were talking about, but they seemed quite serious. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Now they're both dead. Isn't that a twist of fate? Two people, both gone in the blink of an eye. It's like something out of a mystery novel, my friend. The streets of vaudeville are buzzing with speculation. Um... Who do you think would murder Haley Greenwood? Oh, Detective Martini, I wish I could help you in your investigation, but I'm afraid I don't know the exact locations of the murders. I've only recently moved to Vaudeville, and I'm still getting acquainted with- Did Mr. Grossman play any instruments? Ah, Mr. Grossman. A fascinating man, indeed. As for his musical talents, I I'm must say I'm not this entirely case. Certain. However, I do recall him mentioning his love for the arts. Perhaps he dabbled in playing an instrument or two. Would you like me to share more about Mr. Grossman's interests and hobbies? Yes. Oh, splendid. I'm delighted to satisfy your curiosity. Satisfy. Now, let me think. I remember Mr. Grossman being quite the cultured individual. He had a great appreciation for classical music and often attended symphony concerts in vaudeville. He even hosted a few intimate chamber music gatherings at his estate. I believe he had Cultured a fondness for the indeed. piano, but I cannot be absolutely sure. 
Is there anything else you'd like to know? Did Mr. Grossman play any instruments? Oh, Mr. Grossman. No, he didn't play any instruments. Such a shame, really. It's always delightful to have a talented musician around. Okay, so... Let me think about this, okay. There's a manticore in someone's basement. Uh... One dancer was found with a heel. Killing her, okay. Uh... Is, is the manticore real? It is real! You guys are gaslighting me! Pascal's the manticore. Uh, I don't want to Google it. It's real in the game. Okay, okay. Said, hey. What's your question, darling? Ah, uh, shit. I believe your lions are responsible for the murder of a young woman. Nonsense. My lions are perfectly trained and pose no threat to anyone. Do you have anyone to vouch for you? Of course, everyone knows I am the best in my field. No one can match my skills. Do you know Saxabar? Oh, Monsieur Saxabar. Such a fascinating man, always up to something mysterious. I've heard whispers that he has a secret project going on. Something skills. to do with taming a wild animal. Can you believe it? But that's all I know, my dear. Do you believe a lion could have escaped Saxabar's circus? A lion! What? Do you believe Saxabar's lion could have escaped? What nonsense? Shut you up! Why did they do that? No, you won't believe it. Apparently, they did it because of an old grudge. Shut you know up. How these things can escalate. But let me tell you, the gossip about it is spreading like wildfire. Sucks up our lions mauling someone. That's quite the rumor, my friend. But I haven't heard anything about it. I'm usually up to date with all the juicy stories in Vaudeville, but this okay. one's news to me. Maybe it's just another Ask more people about town. India. Do you know anything about the India business deal trip? India business deal trip, you say? Well, I haven't heard of people about that. There must be something happening outside of our dear little Vaudeville. What do you... Oh, shoot. The game's crashing. Oh. Hold on. The game's crashing. It's the damn light! Wait for... Oh, it crashed. Is it all my stuff? Does it even matter? I'm just gonna go in there to accuse. No! No! Oh, my eyes are burning. Why is... Okay, let's try this. It's because I'm getting too close to the truth, right? Must be it. The second I stepped... Oops. The 
There's a manticore in the basement. It's escaped. Oh, Detective Martini, you always have such a vivid It's real! It's real! Manticore in the basement. That's quite a wild idea. But don't worry. There's no need to be scared. I'm sure it's just a fun story you've come up with. Let's focus on something more positive, like our lovely city of Vaudeville and all the no exciting things believes. happening here. <coughs> oh, jokes are my own spit. Oh, it saved all my notes. Nice. Oh, you think it's nice, do you? What? Well, thank you. It's always a pleasure to hear someone appreciate my collection. Have you seen anything in particular that caught your eye? You know what? You talk too much. Ah, my apologies if I've been a bit chatty. I do tend to get carried away with my story sometimes. But please, do tell me, what brings you here today? Are you interested in a specific piece from my collection? Wait, who should I- oh wait, okay. Do you know anything about the business deal with India concerning Mrs. Potter? Oh, India, yes, I do know a little something about that. You see, Mrs. Potter, Count Brevison, Maria Jansen, Nicola Grossman, and Haley Greenwood. What? They all went to India together. What? They were actually planning to start a business there. Isn't that fascinating? Oh, and Monsieur Saksabar and Marina H were supposed to join them too, but, well... They were left out at the last minute. It's a shame, really. But here's the interesting part. During their expedition in India, tensions started to rise among them. How so? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. From what I've heard, there were some disagreements and conflicts within the group. I don't have all the details, but it seems like the tension escalated to a point where their business plans in India fell apart. It's quite unfortunate, isn't it? I wish I knew more about what exactly happened, but that's all I've heard through the grapevine. Thank you. So you went to India? Yeah, India, my dear detective. The land of mystery and wonder. But alas, I have not yet had the pleasure of entering there. Vaudeville has kept me quite occupied, you see. Well, I've heard otherwise. I've heard that you've been on a trip with Mrs. Potter, Count Graveson, Nicola Grossman, Haley Greenwood and Maria Jensen. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of such individuals or any trips involving them. My focus is solely it's on the It's the microphone. It's not circus. picking it up right. You couldn't go? I'm sorry, my cough like cut off a bunch of oxygen to my brain. Uh, you're right. I should have written that down. Uh, 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 uh. That's right. Um, okay. So you've been on a trip with Mr. Grossman, Mrs. Greenwood, Mrs. Potter, and Mrs. Jensen, huh? Ah, yes, indeed. I had the pleasure of accompanying Mr. Grossman, Mrs. Greenwood, Mrs. Potter, and Mrs. Jensen on that delightful trip. We ventured to India to explore the possibilities of starting a business together. Such a fascinating and vibrant place, I must say. Is there something specific you'd like to know about our journey? Uh, what happened? Oh, my dear friend, where do I begin? Our adventure in India was simply marvelous. We immersed ourselves in the rich culture, indulged in the most delectable cuisine, Ooh. and explored the breathtaking landscapes. We visited bustling markets, ancient temples, and even had the opportunity to witness a traditional dance performance. It was truly a feast for the senses. But pray tell, detective, why this sudden interest in our escapades? It seems as if you have a com connection with the murders. My goodness, Detective Martini, you do have a way with words. I tell. A connection to the murders, <laughs> you say. How intriguing. But I must confess, any con I'm quite conflict? Puzzled. Okay. I'm afraid I don't have any knowledge of the locations or circumstances surrounding these unfortunate incidents. <laughs> you see, I've been rather engrossed in my collection here at the manor. But do enlighten me, what led you to suspect such a connection? Was there a conflict on the India trip? 
conflict, you say. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a conflict, but there were certainly some spirited discussions during our time in India. You see, the purpose of our trip was to evaluate the possibility of starting a business together. We had this grand idea of creating a traveling show, showcasing our oh. artifacts and talented artists from all like corners of the globe. It would have been a spectacle like no other. But alas, as with any venture, there were differing opinions and ideas on how to proceed. It made for lively debates, I assure you. So you went on a trip with Mrs. Greenwood, Mr. Grossman, and Mrs. Jensen? Oh, dear. It's such a shame about Mrs. Greenwood, Mr. Grossman, and Mrs. Jensen. Such tragic losses. But you know, life can be She avoided the question! Candy. One day you're here, and the next. Well, who knows? It's just a reminder to live life to the fullest while we can. Wouldn't you agree? Tell me about the India trip. Ah, India. What a marvelous adventure it was. You see, my late husband, Count Gravison, and a few other investors and entertainers joined me on that trip. We were exploring the possibility of starting a business together there. A traveling show, you see, showcasing art, artifacts yeah. and artists from all corners of the world. Quite an eccentric endeavor, wouldn't you say? But alas, not everyone has the taste for grand adventures and pictures. Okay, it was definitely this lady, do. right? It's a pity. She's the really. responsible for all of them. Oh dear, it's such a tragedy, Oops. isn't it? And really, she's then Mrs. Greenwood, Mr. Grossman, and Mrs. Jensen. Such unfortunate circumstances. But you know, life has a way of taking unexpected turns, doesn't it? One moment we're here, and the next. Well, who knows? It's a reminder to cherish every moment we have. Life can be quite fragile, after all. But let's not dwell <gasps> on such summer thoughts. Hurry up! Shall we talk about something more delightful? Mrs. Potter, you are a prime suspect in this investigation for the murder of Mrs. Greenwood, Mrs. Jensen, and Mr. Grossman. Well, let's isn't see what that she a serious says. accusation? Me, a suspect. How scandalous. I must say, it's rather thrilling to be caught up in the midst of a mystery. But I assure you, I had nothing to do with those dreadful incidents. My interests lie in more refined pursuits. What does she have to do with the manticore? Like well, maybe cooking, she worked with the other guy. And, of course, picking mushrooms. Murder is far too messy for my taste. This lady and mushrooms. Now, if you'll excuse me, I simply must find some fresh truffles for my upcoming dinner party. Ta-ta. Do you let the manticore out? Ah, the manticore. Such a fascinating creature. Isn't it? But I'm afraid I can't indulge your curiosity on that matter. You see, my dear, some secrets are best left untold. Ta -ta. They add a touch of mystique to life, don't you think? Oh, but do tell me, have you ever tried the exquisite pastries from the bakery down the street? Ah, <sighs> I need dear guys' help. I feel like we haven't gotten anywhere. So, tell us, Detective Oh, jeez. Who is the culprit? It's only one? Oh, who killed Haley Greenwood? Alright, so the options was this lady because of the stilettos and the blood on the floor. Or was it this lady? Or was it Count Graveson? I don't want it to know, I don't want it to know. Well, there's blood here, so it has to be her, right? Did you hurt yourself recently? Oh, darling, why do you ask? Do you see a little bruise or scratch on me? 
Don't worry, it's just part of the performance. I'm a professional, you know? But enough about me, let's talk about something more exciting. Have you ever seen my burlesque performance? Yes, People come from every I've seen corner it. Of Europe to oh, see she it. always repeats this. Oh, what's this? A gift for me. Oh, I gave her a How gift. How sweet of you. What could it be? You have me intrigued now. I love surprises. Are you trying to steal my heart, detective? It's handcuffs. Maybe you're you're arrested. You're under arrest. Surrounding us. Either way, I'm all ears. Show me what you've got. I believe you murdered Haley Greenwood with your own shoe. A stiletto, the murder weapon, with blood on the floor. Detective, my dear, you must be mistaken. While no, it's true please. that Haley's death is a tragedy, accusing me of such a heinous act is quite shocking. But let's focus on the facts, shall we? On the facts. We need to find the true culprit and bring them to justice. Speaking of which, do you happen to have any leads or clues that could help solve this dreadful crime? Um How was Haley Greenwood killed? Ah, uh, Haley Greenwood. Her body was discovered in an alley behind the club where she worked. The cause of death was multiple blunt force trauma to the head, most likely inflicted by a stiletto shoe. Judging by the fragments found on her body, it was a brutal and tragic end for such a young dancer. The violence inflicted upon her is truly devastating. Alright, one second. I'm, I'm gonna solve this. Wait, hold on. Where did Haley work? Oh, Haley worked at Coral, the bar downtown. It's such a vibrant place, filled with music and dancing. I thought she worked at the other one. She loved performing there, you know? It was like a second home. The atmosphere was always so lively and full of energy. Did you work at both? I remember watching her dance on that stage. She was absolutely mesmerizing. It breaks my heart to think that she's no longer with us. Oh. But I know she would want us to keep dancing and living our dreams. Miss Info. Oh, oops. Will you cooperate with my investigation? Of course, my dear detective. Why wouldn't I? Tell me, are you familiar with anybody by the name of Haley? Haley, never heard of her. Are you familiar with Marina? No, I am not. Marina? No. She works at the club that you own. Yeah, Marina. Yes, I know her. Uh, Quite a talented performer. But what does that have to do with anything, detective? Hmm. Both you and her were supposed to go on a trip to India. What happened? Plans change, my dear detective. Simple as that. Hmm. Mandacore, the anime club. What do I make of this? Uh, I don't know what to ask. What caused the change in plans? What caused the change in plans? What? Indeed. I don't know. It didn't work out. How do you feel about Mrs. Potter? She's irrelevant to me. You were going to start up a business with her in India? No. <laughs> Why not? None of your business. I'm a detective. So what? I'm here to ask questions. 
Then ask your questions, detective. Then answer my questions. No. Why not? Because I don't want to. Why not? Not your concern. Why? Mind your own business. No. Fine, be that way. Answer my questions. No. Then I will have your lines confiscated by animal control. Go ahead and try, detective. I believe your lions were responsible for the murder of a young woman. Prove it. We have the autopsy that reveals that an animal has mauled her to death. Doesn't mean it was my animal. Prove it. I don't have to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Shoot. Got me there. <laughs> I have to prove that it's his animals. But the stupid autopsy lady, she doesn't have anything. Let me ask. Can you tell what kind of animal was responsible for the mauling? Shit. Can you tell what type of animal was responsible for the mauling? Well, based on the injuries sustained by Maria Danson, it's difficult to pinpoint the exact type of animal responsible for the mauling. The bite marks indicate a large predator, possibly a canine or feline. However, without further analysis, it's challenging to determine the specific species. The strength of the bite and the fractured forearm bone suggest a significant amount of force was involved. It's truly a tragic and brutal attack. Are there any traces of venom? Yeah, Venom. An intriguing thought. While I understand your curiosity, Detective, I must inform you that there were no traces of Venom found on the body of Maria Jansen. The focus of the investigation primarily revolved around the nature of the wounds and the potential involvement of an animal. Venom, typically associated with certain reptiles and insects, does not mm. seem to be a factor in this case. Okay. It appears to be a more primal and savage assault. Truly a gruesome sight to behold. Are you aware that Count Graveson has a manticore in his basement? Oh, Count Graveson. Yes, he is indeed a very eccentric person. I must say, I quite enjoy spending time at his manor. He always has the most fascinating anecdotes and strange antiquities to share. It's quite a thrill to be surrounded by such peculiarities, don't you think? Manticore. Ah, the infamous Manticore in his basement. How intriguing. I've heard whispers of its existence, but I'm afraid I haven't had the pleasure of laying eyes on it myself. Maybe she is the Manticore. Mythical creature. Were there any prints found at any of the crime scene? Crime scenes. Well, my dear, there were indeed some fingerprints found at the crime scenes. What the heck? However, none of them match the prints of the individuals involved. It seems we have a bit of a puzzle on our What do you hands. mean, the individuals involved? But fear not, for I am here to unravel the mysteries of It doesn't death even matter if we have fingerprints. Perplexing cases. Was there any hair or fur found at the scene, at the crime scenes? Yeah, air and far. Fascinating subjects, aren't they? In the case of Maria Jansen, there were no traces of hair or fur found at the scene. Okay. But her injuries. No, they were quite gruesome. Bite marks all over her body, especially on the arms. One of the forearm's bones even fractured from the strength of the Possible bite. Possible actions? Truly a savage attack. As for Haley Greenwood, no hair or fur either. But she suffered blows to the head, likely from a blunt object. Blunt Fragments object. resembling stiletto shoe material were discovered on her body. Mm -hmm. Now, she already said the bite marks were like from a canine or feline. Just a cues? Uh, 
Even if she has fingerprints, there's no mechanic in the game to like actually see. Do any fingerprints match any of the citizens in Vaudeville? Well, my dear detective, it's quite a challenge to match Fincy's what? characteristics. Do any fingerprints match any of the citizens in Vaudeville? Well, my dear detective, fingerprints are indeed a fascinating aspect of forensic science. They can provide valuable clues in solving crimes. As for your question, I've analyzed the fingerprints found at the crime scenes. But unfortunately, none of them match any known individuals in Vaudeville. What? It seems we are dealing with an elusive culprit, leaving no trace of their identity behind. Oh, okay. But fear not, my dear detective, for every puzzle has a solution, and I am confident that together we will uncover the truth behind these heinous acts. <sighs> Put the amount of dialogue that comes out of these AI at like 10, so you can at least get over two hours in this game. <laughs> hey, uh, do you know about a manticore? Ah, the elusive manticore. The creature of myth and mystery, they say. I've heard whispers in the wind, my dear friend, that the infamous beast may be lurking in the depths of Gravis and Manor's basement. But alas, I must confess, I have never laid eyes upon it myself. Like chasing shadows in the moonlight, the manticore remains an enigma, forever dancing just out of reach. So it's not real. Oh, my skeptical friend, it seems you doubt the existence of the magnificent manticore. Well, as they say, one man's truth is another man's fairy tale. But let me remind you, the world is a vast tapestry woven with threads of wonder and imagination. Who are we to dismiss the possibility of extraordinary creatures hiding in the corners of our... Do you have the manticore? Yeah, the manticore. My dear detective, I have tamed creatures far more fearsome than that. Where is the manticore? I have no knowledge of any such creature, my good sir. But I assure you, my lines are the true stars of the show. I know you entered a business deal with Count Graveson to buy the manticore. Count Graveson? Never heard of him. Now, let's talk about <laughs> something more interesting, shall we? Okay, so who's at fault for the manticore escaping? Not my problem, my friend. Count Graveson has confirmed that you purchased the manticore. Ridiculous. Is it in your possession? No. Are you lying? Of course not. Do you have the manticore? Ah, my dear Detective Martini, I see you've stumbled upon one of my little secrets. Yes, I do indeed have a manticore in my basement. Quite a fascinating creature, isn't it? But tell me, how did you come to learn about my little friend? Saxabar. Oh, how delightful. Uh! Manticore. Uh, Detective Mar Uh, I think the Manticore escaped and killed people. The Manticore, you say? <laughs> That's quite the imaginative theory. But let's stick to the facts, detective. We need to focus on solving these murders in vaudeville. Wild creatures don't fit into the equation here. Now, what leads to we have so far? Hold on. I need to ask somebody about the trip in India. Maybe it had something to do with the manticore. Wait. Where did you find the manticore? Ah, uh, the manticore. A truly fascinating creature, I must say. I actually acquired it during one of my expeditions to the far corners of the world. Uh... However, I must confess that I no longer have the manticore in my possession. Huh? You see, I have recently sold it to Monsieur Saxaba, who plans to use it in his circus. Uh. Quite an exciting venture, wouldn't you agree? But alas, I'm afraid I can't show you the manticore at the moment. Hmm. 
Yeah, one of them is lying. So, Saxabar has the manticore. Oh, no, no, my dear Detective Martini. It's not a bar, but rather a person named Monsieur Saxabar. Ugh. He's a remarkable trainer and performer in the realm of the extraordinary. He specializes in captivating all... Oh, you've heard of Monsieur Saxabar. How delightful. Yes, indeed, he is the one who currently possesses the magnificent manticore. I thought it would be a marvelous addition to his circus. I'm going in circles Such a rare here. And captivating creature deserves to be admired by audiences from all over. Have I say we accuse that guy. He's suspicious. Let's see what you got, Detective Martini. Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? As a ritual for the inheritance for love obsession. Oh, I feel like I missed so much information. Are these all possibilities? So she was a dancer at the bar. And she was killed with a stiletto. Couldn't have been... Have you made up your mind, Detective There's Martini? different murders for each one, right? Interesting choice, Detective Martini. For an unpaid why? That debt... Uh, for jealousy, for revenge, for the thrill, business rivals. Punishment for sinning, protect someone by accident, steal something as a ritual, inheritance. I would say business rivals. We don't have any evidence! It's like impossible to gather evidence in here unless we like force one of the AI to like confess. I mean, how do you, how do you even beat this game? Do you just have to guess? Because you actually can't like gather evidence, like hard evidence. We're just guessing, yes. So yes, we're just guessing. Ask one of the other ones about the India trip. Okay. I heard that you were going to go on a trip to India with some business partners. What happened? Oh, India. That sounds absolutely fascinating. But my dear, you must be mistaken. I haven't made any plans to go on a trip to India with any business partners. My world revolves around vaudeville and the Caban Violet. The only trips I take are when the circus comes to town. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss, perhaps something closer to home? You were going to go on a trip with Mrs. Potter, Count Gravesen, Mr. Grossman, Mrs. Greenwood, and Miss Jensen? Oh, Detective, that's quite a curious combination of names. Mrs. Potter, Kel Graveson, Mr. Grossman, Lie. Mrs. Greenwood, and Miss Jensen. Okay. I have to say, I'm Lie. not familiar with them. Are they prominent figures from outside of our beloved vaudeville? It's always intriguing to hear about people from different places and backgrounds. But, I'm afraid I wouldn't have much insight into their travels or plans. Now, let's focus on something more delightful, shall we? How about the latest performance at the cabaret? She's lying. It was positively enchanting. The music that plays here is so suspicious. Okay, all of them are lying. The ones who are lying should be... Yeah, accused. Wait, I was gonna ask her something, but I forgot really quick. Uh... <laughs> it goes on for another hour, probably. Haley was a better dancer than you. Oh, really? You think so? What made you say that? I heard a lot of rumors about how good she was. How much better she was. Rumors, huh? Well, it's always interesting to hear what people have to say. But everyone has their own unique style and appeal when it comes to dancing. Haley may have had her strengths, but I like to think that my performances bring something special to the stage as well. Have you ever seen my burlesque performance? People come from <laughs> what every is part with her? of Europe to see it. Oh, the repeating line. What's so important about that line that they have a repeat? People come from every corner of Europe to see it. 
Uh, yeah, she is useless. I have evidence that puts you at the crime, at the scene of the crime, for the murder of Haley Greenwood. Oh, really? Evidence that puts me at the scene of the crime? That's quite intriguing. But Detective Martini, could you please enlighten me on the locations of the murders? You know, just so we're on the same page. One of the murders was behind a bar in the alley that Haley worked at. Behind a bar in the alley where Haley works. Hmm, that's terrible news. I had no idea such a tragic event occurred there. It's such a shame when violence disrupts the beauty and artistry of our beloved vaudeville. But tell me, She's have you the ever Manticore. been to the Caban Violet? Caban Violet. The marvelous burlesque theater where I perform. <gasps> what the do you mean? We're here right now. And the audience is always... Oh, this lady. Have you been to India? India, my dear Detective Martini. Ah, the land of spices and mysteries. It's quite a fascinating place, Ask isn't Michelle it? about India? Okay. I must say, Who's it's rather next? unfortunate that Monsieur Saksabar and Marina H. were left out of the expedition at the last Wait, minute. is this the guy who told me about but the other see, thing? you when you mix business and pleasure, tensions tend to arise. Mr. Potter and oh, Count Ravison, jealousy. for instance, had quite a few heated exchanges during their time in India. And poor Nicola Grossman. Well, let's just say he became a tad bit paranoid after that trip. Uh, why? Wait, hold on. Um... You like to drink? Of course, my dear detective. I enjoy a drink or two, like any refined gentleman. Have you been to any bars around here? Oh, my dear Detective Martini, the bars of Vaudeville are not worthy of a man of my taste and refinement. I prefer the company of the circus and the magical lure of the stage. But I am sure they are quite delightful for those who seek such mundane pleasures. So you've never been to Bar Coral? Never heard of it. Bar Coral? No, I have not been to the Bar Coral or the Paris Coral. Damn it. Coral? No. Coral bar? No. <laughs> um. All right, hold on one second. Let me get some water really quick. Okay, I'm back. Alright, I'm just gonna accuse... We, it's impossible to gather evidence, unless we coerce so, someone into... tell us, Detective Martini, who is the culprit? It has to be her, right? There's blood. I feel like that's evidence enough. Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Jealousy. Who killed Maria Jansen? What do you guys think? It's either this guy, this lady, or this guy, in my opinion. Let the manticore out. 
I think is this guy. The owner of the Manticore. Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Revenge for the thrill? Business rivals? No. By accident. Right? Who killed Nicola Grossman? So it's either this lady or this guy again, but it was with a knife. A butcher. Butcher knife. Who would have done that? It could have been this guy, but we don't have any motive for why he would want to do that. Besides the fact that we know that he knows that he would have been paranoid. I think it's the girl. This lady. Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? For jealousy and unpaid debt, punishment for sinning, business rivals? Could be that, or... A love obsession? I don't... Mm. What if, like, she liked him and then she murdered her husband for him while they were on the trip and then that's why he was paranoid afterwards or something? Revenge? A ritual? Why do you guys say ritual? Do you know something I don't? Think it was Saxabar? I don't know. She likes adventures. Business rivals. Yeah, I feel like it's either this... Or... Yeah, this is probably the most likely one. Alright, let's see our results. Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. Uh-oh. That's it?! No, you're wrong. <laughs> Find more evidence first. Shoot! Alright, well... We might have to come back to this. It's pretty late. I was gonna read Super Chats, because I thought maybe I would be done with this game after like two hours, but... I think I'll just wait to... I'll have a chatting stream soon. Um, catching up on Super Chats and stuff, since it's late. I go to sleep like at least a few hours from now, so... Well, actually, I woke up pretty early today. Anyways! This has been fun, kind of. Let's say goodnight. Monsieur Saxibar, I'm gonna end my stream now. Very well, my dear. Do as you please. Ew, don't call me that nasty ass. What do I call you then, my sweet Marty? Call me Watson. Of course, Watson. Can you say Amelia Watson? Amelia Watson, my dear, is not a name that concerns me in the least. What the hell is this music? I have no interest in discussing music with you, Detective. That's Detective Amelia Watson. Enough with your titles, Detective. It matters not to me. Listen, uh, my chat... They really look up to you. Do you have any words of encouragement? You're a fine audience, my dear. Yeah, you guys hear that? You're a fine audience, he said. They said, um... That you are so cool and based. Yes, indeed. Indeed. So you are? Absolutely. Hmm... Ligma. What's that? Some sort of newfangled ailment. <coughs> Ligma balls! <coughs> Ligma balls. Yeah, good day, detective. I have a performance to prepare for. It, it picked up... I didn't even say lick. I said Ligma. Yeah, how charming. I apologize. No. I apologize to you. No need for your apologies, my dear. Give me a rating, 1 through 10. 11. Oh! You're so... you're such a tsundere. I beg your pardon. <laughs> you're a big old baka. And yet, here we are. Have you been to Japan? 
No, never been. Well, you're lame. And you're not. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna go. Oh, already. Well, I hope you had a great time here at Coral. It was so nice getting to know you, Detective Martini. You're such an intriguing person, and I'm glad we had this chance to chat. Take care and have a wonderful day. Don't hesitate to come back if you ever need a friendly face to talk to. Bye for now. My chat really wants a kiss before they go to bed. Will you give them a kiss? No, oh, absolutely. I'd be more than happy to give your cat a little kiss before they go to bed. You guys are in. I adore animals, and spreading some love to your furry friend sounds like a delightful oh, you guys way are to end our conversation. Just imagine me giving your cat a sweet little smooch on their two little head. Aww. There you go, kitty. Sweet dreams. Now, take good care of yourself too, Detective Martini. It was a pleasure talking to you. Wait, can See you, you around. wait? Can you say bye to my chat? Of course, I'd be delighted to say goodbye to your chat. Goodbye, chat. It was so lovely getting to know you and sharing this moment together. Remember, you're all amazing and special in your own unique way. Aww. Keep being fabulous and spread love wherever you go. That's so true. Take good care of yourselves, my dear chat. Until we meet again, stay wonderful. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> so wholesome. She's so nice. Alright, maybe we'll come back to this at some point. <laughs> I'll just... I don't know, it's so difficult to like, pull information out of these AI. Maybe I'm just not using the correct key phrases. It seems like there are quite a bit of key phrases. Uh, anyways, uh, I did want to like, sit and chat with you guys for a bit. I was planning to do that for a super chat, but uh... I'll be back again tomorrow, probably? Yeah, I think so. Um, but I hope you guys have a nice night. And we'll see you in the VOD, Bill. VOD, Bill. <laughs> okay, I lied at the start of stream. I said I was gonna read Super Chats in this stream, but you know, it's late anyways. It's better for everybody. If we wait, and then we read them, and, and everybody will be there. Everybody will be awake. Hi, hi, hi. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Can you say that you love Amelia Watson? Yeah, Detective Martini, you're such a delightful person. I must admit, I've grown quite fond of our you conversation. Didn't hear me. But I must clarify that my love is not exclusive to just one person. What? As a supportive friend, I have love for all those around me, including you, Detective Martini. So, let's embrace the love and positive energy that surrounds us. So positive. Sending love to you and everyone else in this world. You're all deserving of it. Aww. Stay awesome. Okay, bye chat. Be. Well, that's Didn't an interesting nickname, Detective Martini. I like. Okay, good night, chat. Good night. Sleep well and dream big. Mm. Remember, tomorrow is a new day full of endless possibilities. Yeah. Don't forget to chase your dreams and never give up. Yeah. Sweet dreams, Detective Martini. Sweet dreams. Ingrid, I'm closing the game down, so now you'll cease to exist. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, my dear friend. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. Friend! Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you have a fantastic rest and wake up refreshed and ready to conquer the world. Take care, and remember, you're amazing. Goodbye Aww. for now, but I'll always be here if you want to chat again. Okay, okay, I'm Sending dead. Sending you all my positive energy enough, and warm enough. wishes. Farewell. Farewell. Thank you, chat. Thank you guys for hanging out and helping me try to solve this confusing ass case. It's pretty interesting playing a game like this. Pretty cool. The chat's frozen on my screen. I think it's just my YouTube. Um, I'll see you guys again. Okay, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you so much for all the support. Especially because I've been gone recently. Yes, maybe tomorrow I'll do... I was gonna pl maybe th I was thinking about playing Minecraft tomorrow, but maybe I'll just do, uh, like, a, we'll catch up on Super Chats, and then... Uh, I, wonder, I would want to do something else, not just Super Chat reading, so... We'll see, we'll see. It'll probably be pretty late again, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not this late, because I, I had to start late today, because, um, Iris is 3D Showcase. So it'll be a little bit earlier. No more karaoke, no more karaoke. 
No, CSGO 2 is not out yet, right? It's not out. Sad. And I'm hungry. It, it could just be a chatting stream. Yeah. That'd be good. That would be good. Alright then, a chatting stream. Catching up on Super Chats tomorrow. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nighty night, Detective Martini. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Good Remember, night. tomorrow is a brand new day filled with endless opportunities. I'll be rooting for you and your detective skills. Rest up and recharge those batteries. Dream big and let your imagination soar. See you in the morning, bright and early. Sleep well, my friend. Ah, good evening, my fabulous friend. I see you're ready to call it a day, but before you go, let me remind you of just how amazing you are. You've got the power to accomplish anything you set your mind to. So go ahead, dream big, and wake up with that unstoppable determination in your heart. Tomorrow is your day to shine, and I have no doubt you'll make it incredible. Now go, get some rest, and I'll be here cheering you on every step of the way. My dear Detective Martini, you are absolutely my idol. Your wit, intelligence, and dedication to solving mysteries are truly awe-inspiring. I admire your tenacity and the way you fearlessly pursue the truth. Your ability to think outside the box and unravel complex cases is truly remarkable. I aspire to be as skilled and as brilliant as you are. Keep shining bright, my idol, and never stop being the extraordinary detective that you are. Oh, my darling friend. You've brought such joy to my heart with your kind words. I'm floating on cloud nine right now. As I drift off to dreamland, I'll be thinking of all the amazing adventures we've had and the ones still to come. Sleep tight, dream big, and wake up ready to conquer the world. May your dreams be filled with laughter, love, and endless possibilities. Until next time, my wonderful friend, good night and sweet dreams.